Hello, 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 everybody. Sorry. Uh, welcome to the stream with me, Forte07, and I'm wearing the wrong glasses. Hold on. I don't like looking at the blue glow when I look over at the webcam. <laughs> if you guys don't care either way, uh, that's not why I bought the extra glasses. It's for me. Um, how's everyone doing? Happy Monday. Uh, where is my calendar? Ah, here it is. Today... It is uh, February 28th. Happy end of February. Uh, it is Floral Design Day. Alright. Yeah, sure. Flowers are cool. I like flowers. That's better. Um, and uh, we're back with, with the, the Final Fantasy 14s. This is totally where the binding coils happens. It's not. I had to go check my, my, my cat pockets. Also, disclaimer. If you hear me? doing weird shit with my face more so than often i know i do pretty weird shit with my face in general um i had a dentist appointment today back at one o'clock and my cheek is still fairly numb um i must tell you trying to drink anything out of a cup right now is an experience i'm surprised i haven't dribbled everywhere because i can't feel like the whole right side of my mouth uh because i can't really not 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 very well and i was drinking milk earlier and i was like i don't it was um it was a mess it was almost a mess please be careful not about your cheek i did that once and had to go to the ER for stitches i want to say i haven't yet but i don't generally sit here and talk to myself um i spoke to my mother earlier I should be okay. Maybe I just won't talk as much. If I have to read a lot, we might have a problem. Um, but I should do the thing. Recruit members. Okay, so we're going to set this up. I, I guess it's duty completion. We're looking for... Yeah, is it a raid? We need... Okay, how... What, what order do these... <sighs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't prepare very well today. I've been out of it because I will get into it in a bit. My my visit to the dentist. Ugh. I I hate going to the dentist every time. It just goes terribly. And today was no fucking like exception at all. Um So I didn't I was gonna look up shit for this and I didn't because I I just, I got home and I kind of had to take a nap, cause I did. Um, want to complete for story? I want to <laughs> watch cutscenes. See, I'm putting this because I don't know how annoying me having to stop to watch cutscenes will be for the rest of the party. Um, if they have shit to do, I don't want to be locking them down with with coils. If anyone would like to help, I would appreciate it. Smiley face. <laughs> See now it's weird. I haven't I haven't really spoken since I talked to my mom earlier. Um maybe talking will help loosen it up. I was expecting it to to have it's not as numb as it was. Uh but it's still pretty pretty numb. Um I don't think I need that. Uh they did use two Two injections, right? There'll be the before and after cutscenes and the unlock quest when you open a new coil. Oh, I gotta run and do those too? Fuck, okay. But, but, wait, but why do you have to go and do those when they... When, when they have them already all listed? What? Why? To unlock each floor after the first, continue the quest line and complete the consecutive floor. Each floor is listed separately. Uh, is... Do I... Okay. Before I do this, then... 
Will I have to go talk to girl Alphanod in Wineport? Should I just go hang out in Wineport or something? Am I just going to have to keep going back there? Because I, I don't want to be sitting in, in f the wrong fucking... I'm just going to go there right now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You have the first coil unlocked. After you do... Uh... Oh... Uh, how many? Oh... Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Wait, what? No, I'm confused. How does... what? Wow, this... this wiki is just, um, riddled with ads. Hope you didn't want to read anything on it, because you're not going to. Nice. I didn't want to read how to do these at all. Oh, you may lose your party between the two turns. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to requeue. If they don't mind watching, then I guess it's fine. I'll just have to... I don't know. It... It seemed to go pretty fast between, um, or to, to find people. Do, do people just sit around looking for things open on, on Party Finder or something? I don't know what people do in their spare time. I get upset about having to go to the dentist in my spare time. I me type this in. Sorry. do this why give me a character limit and then have there be a line limit either do one or the other dumb that's what it is it's dumb um Sorry, I'm 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 still looking up a guide that's not just riddled with ads. To whatever, we'll just we'll just hit the thing and see what we get. Um. One reason why I was sitting in Gold Saucer is like I, I thought I would do stuff, but most of those are instances and they, they don't like you doing other things with instances open. I don't know what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting. I didn't I didn't structure this very well and I apologize. Um today, like I said, was did I did I not do it right? Oh no. Okay. Can I leave just that window open? No, I have to. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. Um. Is it bad to go start talking for the legacy of Alig? Or, or my, is it just going to unlock more shit that I'm going to have to do this crap for too? I guess we could go do it while we're waiting. I don't have anything else to do unless we do side quests. Uh, which this technically is. We're just in side quest hell for a little bit. Um, I need to go here. I'll say, where the fuck am I going? Sorry. It's, it's just very weird. They use two injections today to numb me because i don't i think every other time i've oops that's not what i meant to press every other time <clears throat> i've had uh fillings done i've not been numb to like it's it's been a couple hours i think it should have 
it should have worn off. I don't like my cheek feeling like this. It's weird. I don't think I've ever been out here at night. This is almost obnoxious how glowy it is. It's pretty, don't get me wrong, but it's also um, obnoxious. I feel bad for any of the people that have have camps out here. This is kind of awful. Well, we'll just talk to him while we're waiting. Uh, our first objective is to reach the entrance to the Crystal Tower. As I previously mentioned, however, that will prove no easy task. The entrance is guarded by powerful defense mechanisms, each utilizing one of the four elements of fire, water, wind, or earth. Anyone attempting to simply stroll past these unsleeping sentinels invite swift obliteration. I'm so glad you sent people to test this out. Based on Master Garland's analysis, however, analyses? We are reasonably certain that the attacks of these lethal contraptions can be reflected using a crystal of the corresponding element. Naturally, these crystals must be of surpassing clarity, free of the slightest impurities, much like the flawless specimens used by the beastmen in their primal summoning rituals. Ahem. Mayhap I should have said exactly like the specimens they use. <sighs> Were there any other way, we would not ask you of this, but we need someone to enter the beast tribe strongholds and liberate their perfect crystals. For the moment, I would have you focus on obtaining two of the four crystals we require. Pray make for La Nosea, where both the Sopsa spawning grounds and Ugamaru mines are located. You may be certain that the materials used in the Beastmen's sacred rituals will be well defended. Whether you choose to venture there alone or with companions, I shall leave to your discretion. But whatever you do, please be careful. Oh. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm lazy. We're teleporting there. It's, it's I have reduced teleportation rates anyway, so it's all right. It looks like nobody's feeling binding coils tonight. I know it's been three minutes, but last time, I, I guess it was just for Shiva, and people were probably just grinding for things. <laughs> I don't know what they were grinding for in that in that dungeon. I don't know what drops are in in most things. Oh fuck! Go away, fate. Well, if anything, we'll see how it goes. Um, if we don't get anything too too soon, we can technically just progress with the main story. Uh, I'd like to get coils out of the way, but uh, my, my lack of planning, um, which is my fault. I should have inquired a bit more on my free company's Discord, I just didn't. I think I think I just felt bad, because most of them, I'm, I'm sure all of them actually, are probably not in, in first expansion fucking anything right now and I still am because I just don't believe in level skips I guess because I'm weird like that also I was trying to <clears throat> hold on this is not a good well uh my mouse is I don't know why it doesn't switch it's supposed to switch my mouse so my shift button on my mouse right the second uh is not working properly so after i teleport i'm gonna i don't want to do it when i'm standing in the middle here i don't think they'll attack me but i also don't want to get my face punched in while i'm not paying attention can my mouse fucking stop doing this thing that it's doing engine this nope this one it's supposed to switch. Why is edit? It it never launches. Act oh, that's what the Overwatch watch launcher. Sorry, it it never actually fucking switches it when I tell it to. Um, that's the the launcher. Where's the? Is that still? Uh. Nope, there it is. That's why it wasn't working properly. Okay. Anyway, I don't know why it doesn't turn off when I'm not 
in this particular game, but that means my shift button on my mouse doesn't work properly, and then I can't use my top row of spells, and I am like, what the fuck? Because I was playing Overwatch the other night. And I have uh, shifted because that shift key is normally a push to talk button. Um, why'd I come out here again? Oh, I remember. Um, I don't know why it doesn't switch when I want it to, so. I gotta go all the way up there? Fuck. I'll just fly over everything. Oh, what we got? How many people would you say that I need for this? Mm -hmm. Sorry. If you hear me humming when I'm typing, I don't know if anyone else does this. Ever since my sister has pointed it out, I'm very self-conscious about it. Um, if I'm typing to someone, like if I'm texting someone, I have this nasty habit of humming the, the cadences or the, the tones. Like if I was saying it out loud, I would hum it. I would hum that same tonal inflection while I'm typing. I don't know why I do it, I just do. I think we're like T8 and T11, I think you might need two to three. I'm, I'm trying really hard right now not to hum while I type. Oh, I, I'll do it when no one else is around. But I need to remember that when I'm streaming, there's people around, so I can't hum when I'm unsynced. It'll be easy. I will. I will start here in a second. Just kill this guy. I have my crystals. But yeah, I, I don't know if anyone else does that. I, I'm sure it's not normal to, to hum when you're typing. It's just, I don't know, when most of your, your conversations are via text and you're not actually speaking to someone, I think there's just this weird innate need to, to kind of verbally or in a way, I need like that weird audio feedback. I'm sure there's the, the ticking noise when you're, you're typing, but that's a bit different. Am I not allowed to land up here? Damn it, because you can't get up there normally. Um, well, I'm going to go back to Wineport. I'll open this up, though. Oh. Uh, okay. So, I need raids. This one. Button. This one. Confirm. Go. What? Yes, it has. Shut up, thing. Yes, it has. Oh, I have to set that first. Okay. Go. How many? Do we just have the two? Okay. Go. Oh, we got a second. Um. Go? Well, well, we're already. I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, random people I've pulled in to help me. Um, let's see. Entering the passage inward, mid uh, battle, mid boss, and ad and adds to Dalmond. High voltage to paralyze the party. Silence. Well, I'm assuming our one level 90 is going to be OP, so I'm not going to worry about it. Because we're doing it with three people. Should be fine. I'm just going to follow Lala here. I'm assuming they know what they're doing. <laughs> oh no, the other guy's also going in blind. Whatever. 
Oh, the scars left by the calamity. Oh, shit, I have to read. I can scarce breathe for the sulfate of the aether. I'm not going to be checking words. Tell me, have you ever seen cryptic crystals such as these? Such crystals manifest across the realm when the course of the great river of Ether was irrevocably altered five years ago. I'm also going to be tripping over words more than normal. More so than normal, because my cheek. That's not an excuse. That's actually what's happening. Behold one of the objects that caused the alteration. A fragment of the lesser moon, Dalamund. Why is there a moon down here? Ancient ally created Dalamund, or Meteor, to use the Garlean name to serve as the celestial prison for Behemoth. Oh, okay, thank you. Its fall inflicted grievous wounds upon the land, wounds that have yet to heal, as it is as is evident from the cryptic crystals. That thing looks fun. Let's go touch it. I don't think so. He can probably DPS through most of it. Amazing. Dalamon's infernal defenses... Infernal... Internal defenses still function in spite of everything. A testament to the ingenuity of the Alligans. Oh, Ali ish or whatever. The Garleans seek to appropriate their... Appropriate their advanced technology. I'm certain of it. We are about to come face to face with secrets that have long lain buried within the sands of time. Sands? Okay. Great dangers may lie beyond, but we have come too far to turn back. The truth of the calamity is within reach. Okay, are you going to help? <laughs> Infernal isn't wrong. Same. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where'd they go? Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Oh, they're just... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh! <laughs> I feel so fucking bad. They, they can deal. Um, at two points of dark matter golem. Please say these are just fly throughs. Gods preserve. Dark wings that would engulf the very heavens. These could only belong to Behemoth, the primal who laid Aorzea to waste five years ago. Talk faster. At Karnau, my grandfather sought to imprison Behemoth anew by invoking the power of the Twelve. Alas, the dread worm proved too powerful and he soon broke free of his confines. Yet, instead of resuming the destruction he had begun, Bahamut vanished. Whither to, no one knew until this day. Sorry, I'm going to be trying to speed reading. But I do not understand. If Bahamut is truly a primal, how is it that he retains his physical form? He's just, he don't care. Did Grandfather defeat him, or is there some other explanation? Is your grandpa the bat? Is he, did, he's, did the same thing, right? We must press on if we are telling the truth. Okay, okay, go. Great. I must please say that. Oh no, bad guy. They're just running off without me. Hey, was that your grandpa? Is his spirit here? Are these rocks? Are these crystals haunted by your grandpa's spirit? <laughs> no, don't run off without me! <laughs> ah! No, guys! Okay, they're just gonna keep going. I put in the thing I'm watching cutscenes! Oh, they don't seem to mind. Good god, your healer has a quarter of a million HP. Oh, they do. Oh, shit. Oh, this area is awful. Oh, boy. It's pretty. Again, kind of god awful because of all the. Well, oh, shit. I mean, Final Fantasy games are terrible with the HP inflation, but still. I mean, you're a healer, you want to make sure you don't die. So, can can you blame them? Oh shit. I'm gonna get lost. I'm so lost. I'm gonna zoom out the map so I can see where I'm going. Okay, well, Lala Shell just gave me a smiley face, so I, I'm guessing they're not too mad at me. It looks like... It looks like the other guy that's in here is also lost because he's not over there on that main platform either. He went that way. Do I have to go up there? Where? No. What? Where is everybody? No? 
Oh god, I would have ran up there and it would have been really fucking bad. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This isn't... This is a mess. Like, my mouth, apparently. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm back. Hello. Great, I'm not even in range to kill the giant snake. How do you say this word? Caduceus? Caduceus? Remember, it was like a Game Grumps playthrough. They were playing uh, Trauma Center, and they did it. Oh, right. I can't carry any more of these. Great. I'm going to get fucking messages about that all damn night. I guess it doesn't matter what you call it. It's dead. That's actually a fun design. I didn't get to see it all that much. Yay! Oh, yay. Um, it's like... If people want treasure, they can have the treasure. I'm I'm not even going to I won't even be greedy for, for treasure. Oh goodness. Um, what is this? Is this good? Need? Greed. 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 Did did everyone leave? I think everybody left. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Um, okay. What? No. Uh, so, wait. Now what? Can I go to two? Can I just... I, I'll just... I'll just do it? Okay. Well... Yeah! <laughs> this is stupid. I mean, if we're not doing the fights or what, whatever, I guess there's just... Was there a cutscene that I missed there at the end that didn't play? I feel like we missed a cutscene. I didn't hit skip. Whatever. We killed the snake thing. If there's any missing cutscenes, we'll just go back to an inn and we'll look at the book. I almost wonder if it'd be better if we just skipped them here and then went back to the book. This is the very first raid, so I have 40 levels on it. Yeah, seriously. Do, do I have to do anything? No, I didn't miss a cutscene. I don't- see, I'm afraid of getting- Some of these maps are just stupid, so I'm afraid of- Do, do I have to do anything here? Not all the dialogue will be in the book. Oh, okay. All oh, right, because those are kind of just for like main cutscenes. Well, if I get lost, they get lost. To be fair, they can't be mad at me. I said it in the description that I'd be watching cutscenes, so if they're not happy with it, they can deal with it, I guess. I can always just re-roll for new people. Not saying that these people have been impatient with me. They've been very patient with me. I know you just tag along. I don't like tagging a lot. I feel really bad that this is how we're running it, but with with it being being first done or er, raid, I, I can't be too surprised. Because this is the thing I hated when I played World of Warcraft with my friends is all they wanted me to do was get up to dungeon level, so level fifteen. So they rushed me. I just saw that there's a complete timer when you beat this. So yeah, that's fun. Oh, Jesus. Okay. See, I'm not sure how we got to this area compared to the last area we were in, and that's why I felt like it it skipped, um... It skipped... Uh... Well... I, I'm just gonna create these. Where's the out? Is this the out? I'm guessing this is the out. I don't know where I'm going in here. 
Why aren't the treasure coffers closer to the exit? Normally they are. That's weird. Yes. Okay. Well. Um. I was trying to tell a story, but these are going by so fast I don't have time to tell stories. So, okay. Three. I'm going. Oops. Oh, you're ready. <laughs> it's just clicking things to go. <laughs> If we're not, then I'm going to be screwed. Well, they already said they readied up. It's fine. If they weren't ready, they wouldn't have clicked the button. <laughs> it's simple as that. Anyway, my friends, they just they would rush me through like the opening um levels just to get to dungeons, and I hate it running dungeons with them. They were just running them for for drops, which fine, fair. But I was under eye level. I couldn't do anything. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what to to avoid um gauntlet of jump pads um i didn't know what to avoid and i just i felt terrible i don't like just not doing anything which is why even in these these early game things i'm like okay i'm going to oh, okay we just let me just go we just go uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think he noticed. I don't want- Oh, I could go back. <laughs> I could stop typing in the chat window. Okay, I don't know where I'm going any more than he does, so I don't want to leave him behind. Um, but that's why even for- Oh, I must say, did I go the wrong fuck? Wait a minute. I'm just gonna. Uh oh. Um. Did I go the wrong way? No. Oh boy. Um. Hey. Uh. Bye bye. Uh. Which way do I go? Which way? Which way? Oh. What? Nope. I did something wrong. I did something wrong. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Ah! I did something wrong! No! Oh, Jesus Christ! What did I- uh oh. Thing? Please? Today? What do I press? Help! Oh no! <laughs> I did something wrong! Oh, well you're also here. I did it fully- Oh, Jesus! Oh! <laughs> oh no, I just don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Our OP healer is not here because I'm going to die. I don't have any potions. Uh oh. What? Why wasn't this active? Oh. What? I don't understand how these work. I do not like them. Is this just going back and forth? It, uh, everything looks the same in this room. I'm so glad these don't let, like, make us take fall damage or I'd be a lot angrier right the second. Ah. Uh, okay, where else? I don't know which directions to be setting these to. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to change these. How, how do they change? Is it random? Are we supposed to be going down or up? Which way are we supposed to be going? Just keep trying to go down. Okay. Are we following the rings? Do I want to follow the rings? Sonic... Sonic, um... Okay, I'm gonna follow the rings. I don't know if that's correct, but I'm just going to hope it is. If not, I'm gonna end up in a, a world of fucking hurt. Please, I say don't let, don't let me land on that. Oh, jeez! Okay. How does this room work? Oh, well, we're going down. So I'm I'm going to assume it's following the rings. 
Okay, not... Oh wait, no, I need to go over there. That's a gap. Uh-oh! Shit! Does that get me? Oh, well, they just... they just went. This is convoluted and I kind of hate it. I like how some of the uh, the geometry here it doesn't mean. Uh oh, uh oh, 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 oh. oh. Uh-oh. There's not a thing here. Uh-oh. I just got separated from... There's... There's... These aren't activated. Oh, no! That looks like... Th no! 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 Uh-oh! 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 <laughs> run, 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 run! No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Balls! Penises! Which way do I go? This way! Come on, come on, come on, load! Open, please! Let go! Oh no! Oh, well you're over there. I, I lost him. Are there multiple paths down here or something? Uh, I'll just out. I heard a, I heard a jump pad. I just don't know where. Where was that? Do I have to touch this? Oh, okay, well, I guess I'm touching this. <laughs> okay. Yay, I did it! Hooray! Okay. Doesn't he have to... Do I have to leave? Is it mainly... Following the rings or something. Okay, well, I'm going to leave. <laughs> it is an interesting concept. I kind of like it when they change stuff up like that in games where it's not just the same fight everything. I mean, sure, you can you can change it up by doing diff different mechanics in the fight. Um, but uh, I don't know. Puzzle things are fun. Um, um turn four. For that was a weekly thing and no loot. Stuff for okay. We're gonna we're gonna go turn four. An elevator encounter waves of clockwork creatures. Okay, well, I'm assuming this isn't going to matter too much if we're just on the same floor. Won't, won't get lost here!
Okay, so there's floors, and then those floors are made up of turns, right? Is that what I'm understanding? How many floors are there? What? Is, is that how this works? Oh, those look dangerous. Probably not for our OP healer. They can just look at them and they'll die. Oh, look! A hundred tomes of poetics! Tomestones, because I need those. Oops. Oh, say I don't know what I just targeted there. That was kind of bad of me. Running through these these older things for the people that aren't like just annoyed that they have to do them for the bazillionth time. It's, it's actually kind of fun when they they kind of regale the tales of old <laughs> of going through them back in the day. This clockwork dreadnought looks like the the ripper things or whatever from Final Fantasy VII. At least the designs from remake. Oh, I don't need to. I know. Ooh, this one that's just a torso is fun. Yeah, the giant car one looks like the the mobile car enemies in, in Remake. I guess technically Final Fantasy VII, too. They just got a, a very nice glow up in Remake. Like everything, gosh, it, like everything did. <laughs> I can't carry any more tombstones. Oh, no! Okay, turn five. <coughs> oh fuck. Okay, um, I'm going to have to fill up my water bottle here in a bit. I should probably be drinking more. Um, or I'm just gonna. Does this guy not want these? I he's. I don't know. Do I have to touch this? Oh, okay. I think he got confused that there wasn't an exit thing, because it's the, the big button. I feel like I'm missing cutscenes. Am I missing cutscenes? Because they're not playing. I'm not skipping anything. Was it just like the final, final cutscene, like after we get through everything? Girl Alphanod just had to say, hey, we're looking for this, and Grandpa died, and Bahamut didn't dissipate. Let's take this elevator down. Okay, book and cutting, gotcha. That looks like a claw. Oh no, are we on its arm? This thing's huge if that's its hand! This one, if we don't kill it before it takes off, we'll have to do some mechanics. Oh. Before what takes off. That's really cool looking though. Oh, neat. Well, they're gonna be mad. I'm gonna be looking at this cutscene. This is going rather more smoothly than I expected. It is indeed convenient to have a hero on hand. Yeah, I know, right? They're 40 levels above this. Gods, that the cavern should open up again, even at this depth. Ha, huh, this resembles a finger. It resembles a whole hand. Like a dragon claw. And it's, so it should. That... <laughs> Good job. I'm not even going to read that because I'm annoyed. As with the wings, it seems to be frozen, and for that I count my blessings. But again, I find myself wondering, how is it able to retain physical form? Magic? I had assumed that Bahamut's reversion to either was the cause of the widespread changes to the realm, but if he's still here, then that theory no longer holds. What was it then that brought about the realm's sudden regeneration? There is still so much we do not know about Cartanau. Cartano? Cartano. I haven't the slightest inkling how deep these caverns run, but we must continue. Okay. We're just on the thing's hand, but it's it's fine. Did they run off without me? Okay, they Jumping right now is a pain because the side of my thumb still hurts. It's getting a little bit better, but if it doesn't get better, better soon, I'm going to have to go to the doctor. 
doctor. Grumble, 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 doctor. I already had a bad day at the dentist. Last thing I need to do is have a bad day at the doctor. Going to any doctor, though, is never a, a good thing. Oh. That thing has a fancy necklace. Look at it. It knows how to accessorize. Okay. The right hand of Bahamut will be sealed off in 15 seconds. Oh, well, good thing we're all here. Wait, were we worried about this thing flying off? <laughs> it, it didn't fly off. Did it! Done! For he oh, okay, the second coil of Bahamut. I see now. We'll get my treasures that I probably don't need. Are any of the items in here even worth anything? Is there no point in me actually picking these up right this second? Oh, there's a staff there. I didn't see what that staff was. Where's the out button? Where's the out? Down here. Oh, down here. Okay. Gotta look for the glowy. That was a spear. I don't use spears. D does anyone remember the show? Now, I didn't watch it, but uh, everyone liked to talk about it. Does anyone remember the show Mighty Magisword? Something Magis... Why is there a person here that's not part of my group? That, that's almost creepy. <laughs> that's almost creepy. It's silent. Yeah, activate the lift. Oh, it's a cutscene. I guess they're also running through these and haven't been in here before? That's almost scary, because like that person's not part of my group. This contraption, it used to control the saturation of either. Is it used to control... that? There's a question mark, and I completely... Let me try that again. This contraption, is it used to control the saturation of either? Is it an injector? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Have they been putting Bahamut in a weird etheric coma with giant ether injectors? The dragon you vanquished earlier, doubtless you noticed the peculiar contraption about its neck. Yeah, it's fancy necklace. It knows how to accessorize. You're just jealous. It was likely a receptor of some description used to enslave the creature. Or it just knows how to accessorize. You're just jealous. Ancient Alec possessed the means to control dragons, it would seem. The Ashgardians would kill for this knowledge, though to be sure it could be it could as easily be brought to bear against them. An army of dragons could turn the tide of any battle, as the Garleans once learned to their sorrow. I would not be the least bit surprised if they now sought to exploit this power. Whatever their plans, this serves as another reminder of the might of the Alligans. One cannot help but wonder how so advanced a civilization came to fall. Yeah, everyone says this about every advanced civilization that ends up dying out. Of course, this one, it doesn't make sense. They have all this fancy shit all over the goddamn place, but whatever. What did you do? Did you break it? Should you have actually tampered with that? Should you have actually tampered with that? Oh... I know this is cool, but this just seems like a bad idea. Uh, there's a lot of things moving in this room. Should we be a little bit more concerned about them? No? Oh boy. The whole room is just... What was it? A gate? Gods be good? Yeah, they're alright, I guess. Hey, look! It's a dragon head! Th this is- this is Bahamut's head, yes? Very good. Is that a heart or something? A core? It's beating... Is it being reconstructed? This looks like a car. That's the enormous crystal. And, oh, that's- and that enormous crystal, it pulsates as a- pulsates as if as if it were a heart 
then the primal that had awakened was Bahamut all this time? Yeah, that, I don't know if that's a good thing, right? That's not a good thing? No, 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 this cannot be true. This, this would mean that grandfather died for naught. Yeah, a little bit. Unless your grandpa is also the dragon, which would be pretty cool. Confound it. We do not know enough to strike it at it, strike at it now. We must withdraw. Let's just poke the beady heart thingy. Who who is that? No, it can't be. Is it your grandpa? All the way out there. Grandfather, is it truly you or is it like um an echo of a memory? It's a Final Fantasy game. Of course I didn't actually die. Ha, you thought I died. You're stupid. Is this like some attack on Titan, attack Titan crap where they can see the past and future and they can uh, affect shit? That might be spoilers if you don't read Attack on Titan, but stupid shit happens in Attack on Titan. No, don't leave me again, please. I'm not doing the the grandfather. I'm not going to do this overly dramatic bullshit. Go down there. The dragon's asleep. I'm sure it's fine. Just go on. Jesus. There's not many places he can go down there. It kind of ends in a drop. I, I know we can do no more for now. No, you're not even trying to do more. Actually. I'm encouraging you to try harder, but you're just not going to. Oh, dokey. Yeah, see, that ends in a drop. You could have ran out there or something. He's an old man. How fast can he possibly go? Unless he's a ghost. Then, you know... Whatever. <sighs> oh. Why'd we end up here? Hmm? Huh? But this looks like... Oh, we also don't know how why we ended up out here. How did we come to be in Northern Thalan... Thanalan of all places? I can't fucking read today. Oh, but such details matter little. Should we tell your brother that we might have found, like, a ghost of a grandpa? Or the giant dragon that's underground? Grandfather's alive for- Yeah, should we tell your brother? I think he'd want to know. Bahamut did not defeat- Yeah, but he didn't technically defeat the dragon either if it's still underground. <laughs> Are you- Please don't glaze over these things. But why won't he return to us? I don't understand. He's probably keeping the dragon from reforming. It's still underground. The expedition has yielded more questions than it did answer. No fucking shit. At any rate, we'd both be better for a rest. Let us return to the Waking Sands and reflect upon what we have seen. Oh, that's where we're meeting? Thank you, Ferdinand. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Yeah. I totally did stuff. Oh, hi, Brian. I'm okay. Frustrated because dental work. My cheek is also, um, stiff still. Try to unlock the next coil. Oh, I can. Can you, car can you party find her again when you already have someone in your party? Where am I going? I'm going, going here. I don't even know where I am in relation to. I guess we're in Thanalan still. That whatever. That's fine.
Yeah, is she going to tell her brother? I hope she tells her brother. If not, that'll be really fucking shitty of her. Where is she? Urianje! Oh no. I don't know if I can read Urianje dialogue with my mouth the way it is. Hold on, let me get a drink before I, I continue. Um, I'm just gonna put this one. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I ran to the bathroom, too. Okay, hello. Urianje would speak to you. Yeah, blah, 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 binding coil. Full glad am I for thy safe return. Lady Alphanod <laughs> hath appraised me of thy many experiences. I don't know how to say this, so that's what she's being called for right this fucking second. As thou wilt, oh, as thou wilt doubtless be aware, Master Louis Swall was my lady's grandson. Urianje, I fucking know that it's her granddad. She said it a few times just now. <laughs> Gravely concerned was I for her safety, but it would seem I would need not have been so. With all my heart, I do thank thee for watching over her. But come, thou must speak with Mistress Alphanod upon that which transpired within the binding coil. May it serve to may it serve to bring us closer to the truth of the calamity. Okay. Don't know why I couldn't just talk to her. She's right here. Shall we begin then? Urianje, I, I understand you have a report of her own to share with us. Oh boy. Oh no. Aye, my lady. Even as thou dis didst emerge from the depths, an etheric disturbance betokening primal activity was observed. And Mordona it was... Uh, and Mordona was a marked first. By comparison of time and magnitude, we have since deduced its origin. The Cartanau Flats. Strange, there have been no reports of primal activity in that region. It could have only have been Bahamut. Probably, yeah, no shit. That would certainly explain how we came to be in northern Thanaland. Somehow, the cavern took us all the way from Vilbrand to the heart of, uh, Aldenard. Would seem so, my lady. You, yeah, whatever. It is all but certain then, after Bahamut disappeared five years ago, he hid himself deep beneath Cartanau and has since laid dormant, regenerating. I, my lady, taken together with thine own account of Bahamut's continued presence, the land's slowness to heal, and the disorder of the etheric currents do point to one conclusion. Bahamut stirreth. If left unchecked, the primal shall drink of Eorzea's life force till he doth waken to rain ruin upon the land. That sounds kind of crap. <laughs> Rest assured, I do not mean to give up for now. Bahamut may still live, but so too does Grandfather. He's gonna want his staff back. Too bad it's 
broken. For the past five years, he has been keeping vigil over his nemesis, making certain that the primal does not escape. Master Louis Swad, doth yet live? I I durst not hope. And thou certain, and thou art certain, twas no mere manifestation manifestation of thine all too sorely felt grief. No, I saw it too, and I feel no grief for her grandfather dying. <laughs> I know how desperate this may sound, Uriange, but I saw him with my own two eyes. As did Ferdinand. That's what you maybe should have led with. But he vanished deeper into the labyrinth before we had a chance to speak. Two more like fragments of Dalaman pierced the earth when the lesser moon fell. One we have seen. If we can find if we can but find the other two, I'm certain that we will find grandfather as well. If thou so be Oh boy. If thou so believest this 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 this, this my lady, then I too shall have faith. If it please you, I shall notify the grand companies of this development. All Eorzea must stand united if we are to avert a repeat of the calamity. That will not be ne- What do you mean? That will not be necessary, Uriange. Being the great conciliator that- Sure. That he is, Alphanod will seek to unite Eorzea of his own accord. If rumors are true, that endeavor is already well underway. Was this supposed to take place before he did his own thing? I, I'm guessing it was. So let it... No, because I would have only unlocked them now. No, because they're at the Waking Sands. I would have had to do them earlier. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So let us leave diplomacy to the diplomat while we continue our investigation of Bahamut. Are you not going to tell your brother? He's too busy to hear that his, that our grandfather isn't dead. It'll just ruin whatever pep he has in his step, and he'll just get distracted. I just won't tell him. I swear to you, no matter what it takes, we'll find my grandfather and uncover the whole truth of the calamity, and not tell my brother. And I... I'm sorry, and I'm also supposed to not tell him? Ferdinand, you have heard me swear to do these things, but without your strength, I cannot hope to make good on my word. The danger of Eorzea is not past. For the sake of all who abide here, I pray that you will ever be our sword in the darkness. I will find other people stronger than me to be your sword in the darkness because I am not at the right levels, but sure. Whatever you say. Okie dokie. You. Another turn in the coil. A crystal choked abyss lieth beneath the carton of flats. The unholy cradle of an elder primal, and by the hand were truths great and terrible rest from those once celestial depths. Yet, as it is oft the case, an answer doth breed a profusion of questions, and the unknown doth beckon with irresistible allure. Ne'er have the mysteries of the Red Moon lain so neatly within our grasp. Lady Alphanod has sent word of her coming. Tis time once more to brave the precipice and leap unflinching into the jagged wound that doth gape beneath the land. Just had to say I had to go back underground, Uriange. You just had to say that. My apologies. I trust I have not kept you waiting over long. No? You were... Okay. Ferdinand... I can't even say my own character's name. Fuck. Ferdinand, I am both delighted and, rest assur and reassured to have you at my side once more. I would not waste your time with triv... Uh, trivialities, tri 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 trivialities. I can't words right this second. I'm not looking it up. Let us proceed directly to this. Let's. I know this is like all kinds of hypocritical because we were just talking yesterday during art stream about people not being able to pronounce words. But someone's waiting on me. If it if it was just me dicking around, then yes, we would go look up all the fucking words and I would try harder. But one, someone's waiting on me to unlock this shit so I can. Cue us back up. And two, my cheek is still numb. So that's going to be my excuse for the day. Because I just said me instead of B. That's how bad it is. Leave me alone. My cheek's still numb. <laughs> uh, let us proceed directly to the discussion of that which we have learned and that which we hope to learn anon. Stop using anon. Initially, it was evident of a new primal that led us to delve into the cavern beneath Castrum uh, Ossidens and to explore the subterranean scars left after the fall of Dalamund. As you, will, as you will well recall, what we found was a vast, largely intact fragment of the fallen satellite, and with the depths of that structure, we discover not the new primal we had expected, but the broken form of Bahamut himself. Yet even this great revelation would be overshadowed by the appearance of my own dear grandfather. I know there, there were gaps between these, but boy, 
This is annoying to have to hear again after we just went through this. I have since shared our sundry findings with Rambrose, preeminent scholar of the Sons of St. Koinak, and he in turn did kindly furnish me with his theory concerning the Elder Primal's elegant prison. Yeah, I've talked to him already before, too. He didn't mention this to me at all. Twood, seeing that Dalamun had constructed together unto itself the rays of the sun, and thence channeled this radiant bounty unto the Crystal Tower. I haven't done the Crystal Tower yet, Urianje. Shush. The ancients saw great potential in Bahamut's capacity to manipulate energies of otherwise unmanageable magnitude. T'was for this reason that they did bind him within the Red Moon to serve as its living core. Do you remember the slight? Do you remember the sight that greeted us at the culmination of our journey? The colossal devices that surround it and seem to cradle the incomplete form of the Elder Primal. From the information provided to us by the sons of Saint, I don't know how to say this. How do you say this? I'm gonna make another C O N A C H. When I hear it, I will write it down. If I ever hear it, I don't know if I will. But... Uh, sons of Saint Koinak, we have learned from these contraptions. We have learned that these contraptions were termed uh, internment hulks, and that each bore the designation Ragnarok class. Oh, so they're like the SCP Foundation. The purpose of these hulks is believed to be twofold. First, they are meant to act as binding coils, rendering Bahama inca incapable of escape. They said that they say they said the thing. I can stop playing, right? That's how that works. And second, they are meant to feed him. Perversely, the self-same energy which prevents him from moving also serves to sustain his corporeal manifestation. Bahama is permitted neither to die nor to truly live. He is merely allowed to be. Oh. So, yeah, I said both of those things. You can't say I didn't. I did. Shush. <laughs> For century upon century was the Elder Primal thus in prison, bound about in fetters so subtle in their working and yet so adamant that through his cell be though his cell be destroyed, Bahamut uh, lieth yet at the mercy of his long-departed captors. I guess that kind of sucks. It has long been held that the primals require the prayers of their faithful followers to exist, yet none alive worship Bahamut. Could it be, then, that the Alligans found a way to simulate prayer itself? It seems the only logical explanation. I would postulate, therefore, that the regenerative mechanisms in question also supply something akin to the power of prayer. Consequently, if all the uh, internment hulks were to be rendered inactive, Bahamut should dissolve into the ether. Should. That's a should. That's a big should. There's two there's two outcomes. Should dissipate or could maybe escape. Of course he's in pieces. Upon the evidence of thy previous foray, we determined that the Elder Primal is sustained by three such binding coils. Thus we did commence to scour the realm and found in the Twelve's Wood an as yet unexplored fragment of the lesser moon bearing a most familiar etheric signature. And after conducting a preliminary investigation, we believe we have discovered a point from which this North Shroud fragment and the second of the internment hulks can be entered. As I was a sword in the darkness, I would have you once more lead the charge. Okay. I will, of course, be there at your side, doing nothing. Um, once you have made your preparations, head to the Fallout Gourd Float and make yourself known to my assistant, yeah, okay, Serpent Lieutenant uh, Anna L. The fallen fragment is not far from the settlement, and her position provides a convenient rendezvous point. So are there are there three coils? If we already did one, and there's three in tournament hulk, um, hulks, right? Three? How many are there? I will break these uh, elegant fetters, for they bind my grandfather as surely as they bind Bahamut. What happens if those two are like I don't know, bound by fate? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, over here. Running, running, running. Hi. 
Uh, Ferdinand Eldon, I've been expecting you. My name is Anna L. Hi. I have been accorded the rank of lieutenant within the Order of the Twin Adder, that I may better assist Lady Elfinod with her endeavors here in the Twelveswood. Such authority has allowed me to act without interference from the local soldiery, and to conduct a preliminary investigation of the Elder Springs Fragment. From what we have seen of the exterior, the structure shares many common features with the ones you explored in La Nocia, and likely plays host to a similar complement of guardians. That's okay. But I fear words alone will do little to prepare you for what lies ahead. Pray seek out com my comrade to the south and west. He is charged with observing all that occurs in the vicinity of the fragment and will be well placed to show you the thing if nothing less. Why can't they just have me go to, to one person? To look at the thing. Oh god. Oh, there's a rock in my way. Oh, you mean this fucking thing that's just jutting out of the earth? Yeah, that's suspect. Oh, not you. Here. Oh, down here. That's a really... Oh, I guess he's surveying. So that's a dangerous place to be standing, but okay. Hi. I was looking at the giant thing sticking out of the fucking planet. What, br what business brings you to this broken land? Unless you fancy being ground to a bloody pulp under the granite fist of a wandering golem, I suggest you bugger off. Beg pardon? I will push you off this cliff. Oh, my apologies, sir. Lady Elfina did send word of your impending arrival, but twould seem I've grown rather too accustomed to shooing away curious sellswords and reckless explorers. Well, I'm not not one of those, technically. Behold, if you will, one of the fallen shards of the Red Moon Dalamond. Yep. Not hard to miss. Our initial survey uncovered no evidence of the Empire's presence, which, while fortunate in itself, meant that the approach to the fragment had yet to be cleared. After much effort, however, we succeeded in carving out a semblance of a path which should grant you access to the entrance, and that, I'm afraid, is where our progress ended. The interior, while assuming that the architecture of this hulk resembles the first, the master control you seek will be located at the bottommost layer, past all the ingenious and deadly defenses of which the ancient elegans seem so indecently fond. If you would know more, I'm afraid there is nothing for it but to brave the depths of the fragment yourself. Lady Alphanod will soon be arriving at Falgord. Pray do not tarry on your way back to, to the lieutenant's post. I imagine a young mistress will be most eager to, to commence the expedition. The road ahead promises peril plenty, and I would humbly suggest that this is not the occasion to stint on preparation or provisions. May the twelve wash over you. Uh-huh. Yep, I'm going to skip, because normally we'd go in there with, what, eight? I'm going to go in there with maybe three. Two? No, at least three. The, the two we have are, are, are not prepped to go in there. Okay. Oh, I have to go back and speak with Anna L before I go anywhere else. You said 8 and 11, though. I need to be a little bit more mindful of how many people we have. 8 would be in this section, right? How many should I have? Um, story, yada, yada, yada. Objectives. Turn 1 through 4 this raid dungeon are also called turn 6 through 9 by the players. I don't recall exactly. Uh, I might wait for a 4 then, just to, just to play it safe. Also, I'm sorry Brian, I don't know if you heard me. I'm doing okay, I'm just grumpy because of dentist stuff today. And I'm just tired. You know, usual. Master Eldon, I trust the private explanation was worth the journey. Yeah, it's okay. Simply securing an approach to the fragment's entrance proved a monumental task. I dare not think what defeating its inner defenses will entail. But there is aught I might do to aid you. Oh, she's here. Hi. Oh, Lady Alpha. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, my apologies. Master Elfinod. As there was a change of plan. <laughs> Urianje informed me of the impending expedition. So they did tell him his grandfather's not dead. I merely came to exchange a few words with my fellow Silent before he disappeared into the depths of the second court. So you're not coming to help? Alright. Hi. I'm sorry. 
Ferdinand, though I would strenuously deny it if she were present, my sister's admiration and affection of our grandsires exceeds even my own. Yet no, I'm quite aware. Upon the matter of his legacy, therefore, not me, is what to go above and beyond the call of duty. In her grandfather's absence, she had made the salvation of Eorzea her personal crusade. "'Twas that which prompted her to brave the perils of the first coil. "'Yet the fact that she risked her life in this manner "'is not the greatest of my concerns. "'No, it is her subsequent fixation upon my grandfather's shade "'that worries me most. "'The quest to rid the world of Bahamut "'must not become a quest to save a man long dead. "'My sister must needs have a better reason to fight. "'A time will come when the fate of the realm "'rests upon her shoulders, "'and when it does, we must be strong in our resolve, "'and certain of the stakes for which we risk all.' There is a wide difference between fighting for the good of Eorzea and fighting for the love of a man who died for the good of Eorzea. Not me must choose her own path. She cannot rely on Grandfather to choose it for her, for he is gone. I am glad that it is you with whom she makes this journey. If not me is to discover a deeper purpose, then where better to find one than at the side of Eorzea's greatest champion? Twas there I found mine, after all. Okay, gross. You guys are both getting way too attached to me. But tis time passed, I was gone. Fair fortune in your endeavors, Ferdinand. Okay, that's why he's not as worried, because he's pretty sure his grandfather is dead. He's probably a ghost we're chasing after, but it's fine. I like ghost hunting. Uh, ah, le 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 ah, Lieutenant Adele, was it? I would appreciate you making no mention of my presence here to my sister. You didn't say anything about me not saying anything. But I, I don't get, I don't get a chance to. Where I am silent and mysterious. Lady Elphidot is due to arrive at any moment. Any moment. I shall abide in com uh, confident expectation of your triumphant return. Okay. Can I have it unlocked now? Hmm. Oh. Cool. No, it's all good. I was working on something. Else. No, no problem. Um. Okay. First off, we're gonna need that click. Second... Okay, and I don't want to stuff on party finder. Party finder, recruit members. Second coil. Do, 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 do. Recruit. I want them to roll out data sent to travel, or you could transfer to a server on Crystal. I mean, I could. The only thing that's keeping me here is just because I, I joined a free company here, but I can't say. I mean, they're they're perfectly friendly folk. I just haven't done anything with them yet, and I feel bad. All the servers, or all the worlds I have characters on, are are all on this are all on this data center. Um, cause that's the thing, I'm, I'm one of the many people that just picked a server based off who I was gonna play with. Uh, the first server was to play with my cousin, the second one was to play with a friend back in the day, and then I joined this one, again, for, for friends, and <laughs> my cousin doesn't play much anymore, the, the one friend I don't really talk to anymore, and then the third set of friends, um, the, th the third set of friends... Just that I, I mentioned them earlier. They they hop ship to uh to go play Elder Scrolls online and said that me and all the other friends playing it weren't playing. And if they wanted to play a single player game, they had plenty of those because they didn't see a point in there. Well, how many you might want for this second coil? I'm not super familiar. Because oh, simulator mechanics might need extra hands. Oh, I might fix that issue. 
Is four okay? We don't have a healer. Do we want a healer? Do we need a healer? Are we gonna need a healer? <laughs> it, it, it's... Okay, oh, no. I will line up the first one in the second fold in. <laughs> Alrighty! Um, da, 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 join, yes, join, go. I didn't say if, ask if everyone was ready. Oh, well, let's go. Just want to let them know in case I'm just standing there for 30 years. Alamon Shadow! Blah! <coughs> Cat hair in my mouth didn't feel until right this goddamn second. Oh no! Oh! Oh, I don't like that look. <laughs> One, they're doing a spell in my face. Two, there's holes in the ground. <laughs> How strange. How could we not see this all before? That's a good question. I suppose it's only to be expected that corrupted crystals should accompany a disturbance of this magnitude. After all, the frag... The fragment likely pierced the ground to a depth of many hundred yelms. Jesus. The swirling either leaking from the room must warp the very air, creating a veil that hides the formations from view. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> well, if it's not as we expected this to be a straightforward task, let's tread ca carefully now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, tis imperative that we win through the depths of the structure and disable the mechanism that powers Bahamut's regeneration. Of course, if we should chance to encounter my grandfather upon the way, I shall not let him go again. Not while there is hope that he may yet be saved. I'm only reading really fast because they're just going. <laughs> But mayhap we should put such thoughts from our minds until we have successfully gained entrance to the place. That opening up ahead appears to be a suitable point of ingress. E egress. Go. <laughs> Sorry. This is not the day. This is not the day for me to be reading fast. I said I had to be careful because of my fucking cheek. Okay, they're just- they're just gonna go. No problem. Story and glams are the only two reasons to come here unless you're a blue. Or- and or unhinged! <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Oh, it's a- it's a Bulbasaur! It's not a Bulbasaur, but that's kind of what it makes me think of. It's a... What are they? Not marbles. Those are the trees. I don't know what it is. Raphaelicia? Raphaelicia? Okay, I'm here. I'm sorry. It's a Bulbasaur. <laughs> Again, I'm probably not gonna do it. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> okay, we're we're at the we're at a good level of stupid. Oh, earrings are casting. Well, they're probably not going for anything unless they want the glamour. I kind of want those though, right? Greed. I want that. Greed. 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 Oh, I rolled a one. Oh, that's sad. Where's Where's the out button? Out, 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 out. Is it this way? Okay, turn two. <sighs> I'm 
got weird hiccups. I think it's because I've been. I just drink too much water too fast. This guy's outfit here is um awesome. <laughs> Not saying the other ones aren't, but I, I like a good uh waistcoat and tie. That armor. No, it couldn't be. Aw oh, shit. Is it fucking Terra again? He fucking pops up in the worst goddamn places. Be on your guard, Ferdinand, though it defies all reason that he should live. I know of only one who wears such armor. Yeah, Terra, right? He whom the Empire raises is the high as High is the Black Wolf himself, the Legatus of the, the the Eighth Legion. So not Terra. I speak of the madman who brought the Meteor Project to fruition. We face the White Raven, Nail Von Darnis, Harbringer of the Seventh Umbral Era. I'm just gonna call him Terra because it's funnier to me. Nail Von Darnis. Uh oh. It's just a shade. Kill it. Oh, that was the name of the fool who perished upon the eve of the promised Age of Glory. It should not be uttered within these hollowed halls. I know it's probably armor, but man, he has some thighs on him. He has a neck! Whoa! That doesn't look healthy! This guy's thick. Is this what the kids are calling thick? I don't know the definition of the, that word with the two C's. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> Out of love of his loyal servant, the one true deity named me Nail De Deuce Darnus. Sure, whatever. The one true deity, Bahamut. He speaks of- yeah, okay. Dragon, great. Oh Lord Bahamut, thy name is a sweet water to parched lips. How my heart swells is thy sacred touch. At thy sacred touch. So his sleeves, I wasn't going to say anything. Those are just puffy sleeves, but his neck, that looks like it hurts. This blessed sanctum is the domain of my god and his beloved children. Seek to defile its glory and you will answer to me. Well, oh, bye. That looks like fun. You want to try it? I'm sure your brother won't mind if I give you a push. What is this thing on her back supposed to be? How is this possible? From from what Alphanod has told me, Nell was slain on the eve of the Calamity. I wouldn't know. I wasn't there. Whatever the truth of the matter, we must be on our guard. There can be no reasoning with the worshippers of a primal. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. They've already started. They've already started! Do I need to watch this? I'm just gonna let it go. Whatever. They're, they're just helping us through story. They're understanding. They know we don't actually want to do the fights. Moving to Sector 2! Hold on! Moving to- uh. Yeah! Uh. Wait, they didn't move to- Are we on an- Oh, we're on an elevator. We don't have any choice but to- Okay. I don't even have enough time to line, like, to, to, to cast the spell. <laughs> I feel so bad. I don't like doing it this way. <laughs> Everyone else is a, is in a, is in a, a, a ranged DPS. They can just get in things spaces. Snake lady? It's a snake lady. Or... It's a snake lady. She has snakes for hairs. And me pretending I'm doing anything useful. Okay. Well, well, look at it. We're just having... Oh, I, I did one thing. I helped. I helped. I did one thing. I got one thunder off. <laughs> so bad. Oh, they're just chunking her health. It's gross. It's amusing, but it's gross. This just gives me more... 
So this just gives me a little bit more resolve to get through things so I can... Um, what, am, what are these things I'm greeting on? Because I don't know. They're probably not even all that important, are they? At this point in time. I mean, I can maybe use them. I don't know. I haven't had the chance to... No, I'm not gonna ask if they're ready. If they're ready, they're ready. Oh, there's only four turns on this one? My inventory's gonna get full of crap, though. Where do I turn these in at? Wait a minute. No. Fix something. I mean, I can open- Oh, I can't open those right now. Oop. Never mind. The holo charts. Turn four. Oh, Brian, this is completely unrelated to anything that we're doing. Remind me later, I'll show you how to resize your canvas and sigh if you want, so you don't have all the, the dead space you kind of had in yours if you want to, to change layout. I meant to say something Saturday and I completely forgot. I am reminded of the passages beneath Castrum Ossidens. We must have traveled quite some distance below the surface. Wait, are we on... Did I just skip a turn? No. Yes? No. I did! Which turn am I on? More of the same tunnels. Tools be good. Surely they cannot continue all the way down from the upper floors. It is difficult to see inside, but I have a terrible feeling those corridors house more of the dreadful guardians you've already faced. I'm not done with it. I should have... Oh, I mean, I figured, but just in case, I guess. It is said that the Alligans excelled in the creation of chimerical beasts and that... Uh, it is said that the Alligans excelled in the creation of chimerical chimerical beast and that the red moon teemed with a thousand thousand with a thousand thousand fantastical monstrosities all to prevent the enemies of the ancient empire from releasing the elder primal i wonder the creature i wonder the creatures that prowl these halls could they be the beloved children of which nail spoke of well this is yet another mystery to ponder upon our return shall we continue onwards i'll say we won't know until we fucking get down there Okay, sorry. Don't get me wrong, this is pretty. This is the one thing that I actually kind of had fun with. Oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna run over those because I don't feel like being propelled. Okay, well, they, they're fine with it. I am not. Wait, what? No, they didn't mean to go that way. Uh-oh. Oh, it's more maze shit. Crap. That's why those are there. Um... That was the one fun I was having when we did occasionally run through some... some old raids and dungeons with my friends on WoW, is that, you know, because you didn't have to worry too much about damage or anything, you could just kind of sightsee. And there's some stuff that they do in these that, you know, Kinda gets glossed over. There's a lot of things like that in games. When you're you're in you're in go mode and there's a lot of things happening and you don't just get a lot of time to actually look at the environment. Because a lot of effort is put into these. Um, that's why I like things on YouTube where it's it's people looking at stuff out of bounds and, and what have you. But at least they can kinda slow it down or turn on god mode so you can look at crap without um without I'm not even going to cast Thunder. There's no point in me casting it. A dot right now doesn't mean anything when the, the time is... less time than it takes to cast the fucking spell. Oh, I got a beam on me, but it's dead, so it's okay. Oh, see, I thought I skipped turn three because it doesn't have any kind of 
Oh, turn four also doesn't have a description. What? Okay, well this... This article isn't very... Um, descriptive. Um, what is this? Need... Read... 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 Sure. So that would be cool. I'd definitely appreciate it if you have the time tomorrow. I'd appreciate it if you could show me how to do gel lines. Yeah. I can go over some... Um, some size stuff for you. Uh, plus three for the last turn for this coil, or do I need to find someone else? I like the YouTube videos that look at the background and have story instruments playing in the background. Uh, I I just like behind the scenes stuff, but it's it's kind of fun when you go through old stuff like this. Um, it's like, sure, it's fun to pick on games when they, they have, like, issues with their graphics or whatever, but I also like to take the time and actually appreciate some of the details that are put into, like, little things in games like this. Like, sure, these flowers aren't all that detailed, but they're still nice looking. Like, even games with, like, lesser graphical prowess to it. Like, Legends. I'm just going to use Pokemon Legends because everyone likes to pick on Pokemon Legends for not looking good. There's still some stuff in there that look nice. My, my biggest um point of argument for Pokemon Legends is the Pokemon models at least look nice. When I was poking around in Diamond and Pearl, I get that they're ports, but Shinxes, right? They don't have modeled mouths in Diamond and Pearl. They just have the, the texture over the 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 old model, which, you know, on the 3DS, 3DS would make sense. But in Legends, I'm pretty sure they had they probably, I want to say, remodeled everything. So they actually have nicer looking models for the Pokemon. They do extra stuff a little bit. So I want to say more time was put into it. I don't know, I just appreciate the, the effort that actually goes into stuff like this, because it does take a lot of time, even if they are just making a bunch of assets and throwing them places. Like, I was commenting on the flowers, like, okay, all these flowers use the same fucking texture. That's not all that impressive, but, I mean, it still <laughs> looks nice? I don't know. That's why I actually, I don't know if World of Warcraft gives you this option. I like being able to run around, though, in first person and just look at shit, turn off the HUD and and look at things. This is a person, but I'm still gonna... That's a fun staff. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oops. The, the problem with me. Oh, I need to line that up. Um, what do I use? Let's use these real quick. What did I get? Actually, I don't know if these are better than the stuff I have right now or not. Can I sell these? Well, not these. Oh, because we're at eye level 130 for everything. These are 90. Dang it. Well, glamours or whatever. I have to dump it on someone else later, though. Level 110 weapon coffer, but I'm pretty sure my staff is stronger than that. Oh, I already, I already have one of those. Alrighty. Okay, 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 whatever. Um, binding coil, turn four, let's go. Go. Uh, 
I'm, I'm not even going to look at the guide. What's even the point? I can just blink and whatever is in this room will be dead. I don't like being so... So nonchalant about it, but that's that's where we are right this second. Ooh. I'm sorry, are we underground? How far underground did we go? There's like sky and clouds atmosphere going on in this room? What's going on here? This isn't normal. Where where'd we go? Did we teleport somewhere? That looks like a red moon. That that surely cannot be Dalamon. How where are we? Is it a matter of how or where or is it a matter of when? The final resting place of Nelvarn Darnus. Van? Val? Whatever. Terra. This is a grave for the undeserving. And for the crime of trespassing upon my god's sanctuary, this place shall serve as your grave too. Okay. No. <laughs> Oh, look! Wow, you're actually doing something! That's more action than I've seen Alpha Nod do all fucking game! Who are you? I don't know who this is. I'm sorry! You had a thick ass neck. Was that just part of your fucking armor? Because that doesn't look the same at all. In the hour of his failure, Nail Van Darnus fell the felt the currents of the ether begin to bear away at his essence, but before Oblivion could claim the last of him, a divine will reached out, and I was born. Then did the words of my god resound in mine ears. What are you? Bring unto me mine enemies, bring unto mine enemies crushing defeat, that they might know despair without end, and claim thee thus the victory thou which art, which thou weren't once denied. Okay. I'm very confused. They could still crush at least two watermelons between those thighs, though. Oh, that doesn't look healthy. Oh. Dragon lady? Dragon lady. I'm very confused. Twould seem that the little rem Twit seemed that little remained of Nail's essence when Batham plucked him from the brink of oblivion, and the result was this strange simulacrum. Nevertheless, her aura bespeaks great power. She channels the rage of the Elder Primal herself. Still crushing watermelons, though. Lord, Lord Bahamut, Dav, thy wish is my command. None shall escape thine unquenchable fury. Come, ye dull and thinking beasts, bare your teeth. I okay. They will avail you not in the calamity to come. I have a Moogle staff, which I'm going to do absolutely nothing of of use with in this fight, probably. But I'll try. Moogle it makes Moogle sound. All this music sounds badass. Too bad it's gonna last all of like 30 seconds. Hail is the antagonist of 1.x and oh well. Oh, uh, this is a space of the recreation. What I why am I oh, because I'm in home mode. I was like, why can't I target anything? Uh oh, what do I do here? I wanted to read this. Another fact. You're both gonna die here. Oh, cool. Ha! Did it! Oh, uh, and this space is a recreation of the Orino you fought her in if you were the masochist- If you were masochistic enough to actually play that version of the game. Oh, okay. Am I actually going to die here? Oh, I'm gonna get hit by a fucking meteor. 
I don't have any potions, so yeah, I'm going to die. We're triggering raid wipe scenarios repeatedly. Oh, oops. Uh, generally those green things mean a meteor is about to drop on your head, so you take it to the edge away from other- I see. Well... I want to take a nap then. <laughs> I'm helping! Taking a nap. I believe in you guys. Hey, we get to at least take in the, the spectacle. No way around in small groups, really. The solution is to be big enough that the damage doesn't really impact you. Oh, I see. There's a lot of shit going on in here. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I did it. To be fair, again, the, 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 the description area of this turn did not fucking say anything, and when I clicked on it, of course, it has this whole laundry list of shit you're supposed to keep in mind that I didn't do because I just took a nap. Yay! We did it! Okay, the dragon lady's dead. I'm gonna respawn because I bit the dust. Oh, he also died. I don't feel as bad, but she said that. Um, greed, 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 greed. I don't know why I'm greeting these, because I can't sell them. I'm just gonna have them. If I can't take them, they won't let me take them, usually. I guess it's one of those things that you just kind of- I guess I could just start passing on shit. I might as well just start passing on shit. They remind me to pass on crap next time. Oh! You're still alive? I like how she reverted back to her armor form instead of giant dragon lady form. Poor creature, would that you have never been born. You had surrendered your physical form and collapsed into either, but Bahamut denied you death and imprisoned what little was left of you in an ethereal shell resembling... What, I wonder? Images from your memory, perhaps? But that shell is now broken, and your primal deity seems disinclined to sustain your existence. My primal deity? I kneel to no icon. What need have I to beg the favor of such filth? What? I am Neil von Darnus, Legatus of the Eighth Legion. What? No, a moment. My thoughts are clouded, and this body is not my own. Could it be that you spoke the truth? Was I... Oh, God. Insorcelled by the Lesser Moon's ancient prisoner. That will not happen again. You speak as if Bahamut no longer controlled you. But that's impossible. Once a primal ensnares a mind, it cannot be freed. Unless... Unless Bahamut simply relinquished, relinquished his claim, what need has he of a broken spirit bound for the ethereal realm? Oh, that I should fall prey to the very influence I sought to purge from the land. The irony is galling. But do not assume that all of my actions are chosen for me. It was my will that the meteor project be resurrected, mine and none other. Yet it seems that my grand designs are destined to fail. Even the ungentle release of death was denied me. Nail, please, you must tell us more of the calamity. I must know the truth of what has befallen the world and what has become of my grandfather, Archon Louis Swa. You are Louis Swa's grandchild. Ah, the fates are generous for their cruelty. 
Continue on if you would have your answers. They await you at the terminus of your path, but know that this path leads only to despair. The light of truth was ever harsh and unforgiving. Why do you say this? Grandfather will be freed once you put a stop to Bahamut's restoration, will he not? What are you not telling us? Steal yourself, child. Only unbending resolve and merciless strength can conquer what lies ahead. The weak can do not but weep under the, under the pall of their own misery, as did the frail child I once was. Ah, oh, dead it. Silence, chattering raven. Your wretched wings are broken and you shall soar no more. Oh, yep, she's about to say too much. Weird they kept her alive for so long, I guess. My crimson moon, your brilliant sears mine eyes. If anything from the little bit I've played of Bloodborne is you don't worship red moons. It usually goes poorly. Same with Breath of the Wild. Just don't do it. Dear Red Moon, you just go back to sleep. I recognize that voice, Ferdinand, but never would he say such words. Come, let us finish what we came to do. All will be put aright when the final Hulk lies dormant. Grandfather will be himself again, I am sure of it. Um, okay. You're making a lot of assumptions here. A lot of a lot. Bahamut regenerates more swiftly than I had anticipated. Let us hope that this that disabling this co coil will serve to slow the process. Yeah, sure. This just seems like a dumb idea. The display seems different, but the controls appear to mimic the mechanism we found in the La Nocea and Hulk. It shouldn't pose a problem. There's a lot of shoulds in this in, in your your talk and it makes me a bit un uncertain because it's it's just that it it's exactly that. Fernand, forgive me. The moment I beheld Nail's transformation, hope wilted in my heart. I did not believe you could stand against the manifestation of Bahamut's power. Well, to be fair, I didn't, but you know. <laughs> For all your fabled strength and skill, I felt certain that then I was going to lose you, just as I lost my grandfather. Even he, a man for whom not seemed impossible, was humbled before Bahamut's might. Well, technically I was too. I got hit in the head with a rock a few times, and I took a nap. And yet, look how far we've come. Uh-huh. Sure. Tis incredible, the feats of which we are capable, our boundless potential. Twas this capacity for greatness, I believe, that grandfather so dearly wished to protect. With all that has occurred, I have come to understand that much, at least. Right. You're aware of how fast this Bahamut has regenerated in, like, I don't know, an hour? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna think about it. I, I just really don't know if we should be touching these things, but okay. Tis done. Shall we make our way back to the surface and gather our thoughts? We have seen much that will benefit from Urianje's learned perspective. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. He's not down on the platform this time. Oh, oh, dead. Oh, now you're taking a nap. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're just going to let that go. <laughs> Grandfather, it is you. Then what? Yeah, why did you just come up and attack me? <laughs> Abandon this quest, not Alphanod. I will not counter its further sabotage of the coils. Sabotage? But, but we must disable the coils if we are to prevent Bahamut's revival. Making a lot of assumptions with that. Your, devi your defiance seals your fate. Are you not going to explain? 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> Watching this child get beat up by their granddad. No. No, you are not who I thought you were. My grandfather would never. Foolish girl, how could the White Raven allow herself to be bested by such sniveling opponents? Listen well, we all exist the pleasure of one divine will, and the word of Lord Bahamut is absolute. Is he tempered? Is he a ghost? Is he just a, a, a hallucination? A, a doppelganger? Scurry back into your holes, vermin. You have been granted this one reprieve. But but should you be so f foolish as to crawl into my lord's domain again, I will crush the life from you myself. Oh, do we get to fight a grandpa? Oh. That light in grandfather's eyes. He has suffered the same fate as Nail. I don't know how to say that. We're just going to keep calling him Nail. Oh, the one tear. My grandsire is no more. That was not but a phantom that profanes his noble memory. This mockery must be expunged. I will not rest until I free grandfather's soul from Bahamut's tyranny. Do you hear me, Bahamut? Your time is at an end. Eorzea and my family will be, aven will be avenged. I can't words. Just, I can't words. Oh. Um. Exit. Exit is where? Down there. It says exit. Oh dear. I didn't want to fall there. <laughs> I was trying to cut the corner, I promise. Okie dokie. Um. Okay. Truly, it is wonderful to escape that stifling air and return to northern Thanalan again, it would appear. I must thank you, Ferdinand. Were it not for your bravery, bravery, I strong, bravery, I strongly doubt that I would be standing here now. Ah, but you need not tarry on my account. The danger has passed. Pray go on ahead and appraise Urianje of all that has occurred. I will join you anon. My thoughts are yet unruly and I would rest here a while. Here? All right, all right, all right. do what you do. Gotta judge. Bye. What is this? Oh, immortal flames. On. See you in like three minutes. Not even. I don't know. Okay. So yeah, is there just one more coil? If there's three. One coil with three turns? Okay. Why did I go on the solar? Fuck! I'm so used to going in here, I just did it mindlessly without fucking paying attention. God damn it. Minfili is not even here! God damn it all! I'm talking to Urian J, he's over here. I'm going to fucking solar. The triumphant hero doth return. Thine eyes spark of the dread task completion. The second coil now will lieth dormant. Yet I sense the tidings thou bearest are not altogether glad. Pray tell, pray tell me what ill hath cast the shadow which falleth now across thy brow. Your your over your your over explanation of anything. Your overuse of words. I, I can't. That's what. And 
an old foe and an old friend. So twas but the ethereal shadow, ethereal shadow of Master Louis Swall that Lady Alphanod beheld, an unnatural conjur conjuration in thrall to the Elder Primal. That the fiend should then uh, should the that the fiend should deign to choose him of all men, even in full knowledge of the shade's true nature, I would be hard pressed to weather such a confrontation. Yet what agonies must the young mistress have endured? Such torment did she ne'er deserve. Mayhap twer, twer better if the lady Alphana did absent herself from future for, forays into the coils. He's not going to. <laughs> I have come too far to surrender to grief, Uriange. Why are they doing question marks like we don't know who this is? My lady, I am resolved to defeat these fiends, and naught shall sway me from my path. Now let us peer more deeply into the well of our discoveries. As you wish, my lady. By your leave, I would speak first of the coil's late guardian, Nail Van Darnus. Von Darnus was a legatus of the Garlean Empire who strove to bring about Eorzea's final destruction, only to fall even as the sixth sun did set. If thou hast heard the tale of the White Raven, then it is of he of whom they speak. I, he, I say, for Nail was certainly, was for a certain, was for a certainty no maid. The noble house of Van Darnus, as we discovered all too late, had long safeguarded the wisdom of ancient Alleg. Twas thus that the Legatus came to learn the true nature of Dalamund and to seek to employ the Red Moon as a weapon against Eorzea. But the crystal tower and the mechanisms required to command the satellite yet, yet lay hidden beneath the ground, compelling Nail to construct a far less subtle mechanism. And his first faltering attempts to communicate with Dalamond, he did likely rouse the satellite's slumber, slumbering prisoner. Thenceforth did the White Raven soul belong to Bahamut. He is fortunate indeed to acquire so powerful a thrall by chance. Tis little wonder he had so loath to part with him. He was so loath to part with him. Why let a simple thing like death deprive one of one of so useful a pawn? Though we may accuse him of bungling Van Darnus's resurrection, I dare say Bahamut was as content to have a handmaiden, handmaiden as a manservant. I only hope that the two thralls we encountered were the extent of his flock. Yet I cannot help but dwell on Nail's words, those beloved children of whom he spoke. I assume at first that he refer referred to the moon's beastly guardians, but should Bahamut have enslaved other mortals, we must needs remove this source of worship. Otherwise, our efforts to disable the coil shall be for naught. Forgive me mine indelicacy, my lady. Thou art wise indeed to speak of expunging the primal's thralls, but canst thou truly pursue a course which would cost thee thine own grandsire? My heart and mind are as one on this matter. Grandfather's salvation can be won by a single method, the destruction of Bahama and aught that might serve to sustain him. Ferdinand, while Urianje and I endeavor to ascertain the existence of any further thralls, I suggest you grant yourself a moment's re respite. Rest assured that I will contact you the moment I have need of your in uh, inimitable talents. That we have achieved so much I owe to you. I fear, however, that our trials have barely begun. I feel bad taking all the credit. I didn't do jack shit. Though time had dulled the pain of thy passing, I find that I am wounded afresh. Master Louis Swall, what good shall come of this unending search for knowledge and truth? Long have I believed the pursuit of such treasures to be the duty of every true Starlian. Yet with each new revelation serveth only to heap further anguish upon those who we would fain protect, must we truly reach for more. Yeah, ignorance is br bliss than everything. Oh, hi, Alpha Nod. Uh, I'm sorry, you found your resolve, dear sister, whatever. Will you now find a use for the secret, for the key that only you and I hold? Given our familiar pro uh, propensity for curiosity, would you do well to remember that keys may serve to seal doors as well as unlock them? And Bahamut is uh, and Bahamut is a most unwelcome guest to whom the door should never have been opened. Hi, Urianje. It looks like you 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 guys have already had a minute to convene and talk about shit. Man is wont to cast light wherever oh wheresoever secrets lie. Hi lie hid in darkness 
spell that which he illuminateth seldom bringeth him joy. So it is with such unhappy truths that Bahamut's immense shadow doth conceal. Yet ever onward forgeth... Ah... Uh, <laughs> I can't deal! Yet ever onward forgeth Mistress Alphanod, undeterred by the burden of knowledge that weigheth heavily... Heavy on... You didn't say heavily? Weigheth heavy on her heart. Tis a perilous path that she has chosen, and a painful one. I prithee, Ferdinand, remain by her side as her valiant blade, that she might seek her quest to its conclusion. <sighs> Can't you, could you just use simpler sentences? Ferdinand, as well that you are here. Yeah, like that. Except you, you're just as bad, almost. My lady, how might I serve you this day? Some uh, fries and some tendies. <laughs> I need some nuggies. I have met with some difficulty in my mission, Uriange, and I shall be grateful for your counsel. As you know, Bahamut's physical form is regenerating beneath Cartonau Flats, beneath the Cartonau Flats, even as we speak. If we are to prevent his return, we must needs disable the two remaining intermittent hulks that sustain him too. Every moment our mission is delayed, the realm is pushed closer to the brink of destruction. Alas, though I have determined the locations of the fragments of Dalamud leading to the hulks, I have been unable to find a way to enter them. And gating amidst is but the first step in your perilous undertaking. When, the last, when last thou descended into Bahamut's subterranean fastness, thou didst discover, didst thou not, that the dread primal had bound the shade of Nail von Darnius unto his will. Oh boy, we gotta do the recap of the thing that we just read. And thou, and though thou didst consign the fallen legatus to blessed oblivion, thou mayest recall that the pietous wretch was not alone. Doubt not, but that Bahamut's other thralls, doubt not, but that Bahamut's other thralls uh, shall seek to hinder thy passage. You can say his name, Urianje. I have not forgotten that my grandfather is waiting for us. My lady, I would remind you as much. As I must oft remind myself that the man whom we both loved and revered is no more. What, re what, remain what remaineth is but a shade which defileth his memory. The vile verb uh, verbiage that spilleth, spilleth from his lips must not be heeded, for it cometh not from your grandsire, but from Bahamut himself. You need not worry, Urianje. Come what may, I will not stray from the course. I will not let grandfather's sacrifice be in vain. But mere words will not take us whither where we must go. Whither we must go. As I said, I have been unable to find a way to enter the fragments of Dalamud. My lady, might I suggest that you visit the fragments again in Ferdinand's company. Pull off half the warrior of light set events in motion by virtue of his presence alone. It is possible that he may do so again. I, the while, shall search for answers of my own. By our efforts combined, we will form Captain of Planet. Um... Full sure that I am the path. Full sure am I that the path shall be revealed to us ere long via Captain Planet. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Would it, it anyone else? I would, should question the wisdom of such advice. Yet I cannot deny that what you say about Ferdinand is true. Very well, I shall do as you suggest. Assuming you have no objections, of course. Good. Now we seek entry to two fragments of Dalamud. One lies at the Burning Wall in Eastern Thanalan, and the other at the Singing Shards in Mordona. I left an assistant at each location with instructions to continue searching for a means of ingress. It is not impossible that they could have since found something useful to us. Let us begin by visiting my man at the Burning Wall. Dex, I think it was. Okay. Is anyone surprised that they haven't tried... Have they actually tried, um, rebooting Captain Planet at all? I'm just, I, I, some part of me is just surprised that they haven't, or I haven't seen anything for it yet. I don't know why I'm running like I'm going to run there. We're teleporting. I remember I was terrified. My grandma used to tell me to not have my hair in my eyes because it would mess up my, my sight. And there's that one villain lady from Captain Planet who has her hair over her one eye because it got all mucked up for some reason. I don't remember what the reason was. 
But that's what I used to think would happen if I let my hair get in my eyes for too long, is I would end up looking like that lady from Captain Planet. If you know who I'm talking about, um... Yay, but that... I mean, I, I don't care too much about my hair getting in my eyes, but when I was a child and my grandma would say that, that's, that's what I would think of. I don't know if she knew that's the image she would conjure into my mind whenever she said it, but it it was. Um, where are we? Here. Is he down here? I think he's up there. Um, where are you? Sir? Oh. I say, are you not Master Eldon, my lady's most faithful companion? Sinister, at your service. And may I say what an honor it is to meet you. I thought it was Dex. How goes the survey, Dex? That's... What? Ahem, my lady, it shames me to say, say that I have found no viable path to the fragment. Can we just fly over there? Though it stands there before our very eyes, the way that there has thus far proven impassable. When the fragment fell and pierced the land, it caused a, a prodigious amount of either to spew forth. Twas this that gave rise to the land's twisted lay, which seems destined to, th destined to th thwart our efforts. Even were an opening to exist, I fear that we would struggle to reach it. We cannot give up. Keep trying. So near and yet so far. Well, it avails us not to stand here and stare at the thing. Let us away to Mordona and try the other fragment. Perhaps Sinus has fared better. I'm sorry. Okay, he just said brother. Is she getting the two of them mixed up? Ah, uh, upon that note, my lady, there is something I must tell you. I am sorry to report that I lost contact with my brother just over a bell ago. What? As you know, the singing shards are home to many fell creatures, ogres among them. While I do not wish to cause you undue alarm, I fear something unspeakable may have happened to Dex. What? <laughs> do they not know their names? They, they. Oh, what? Why didn't you give me strength? Hurry, we must hurry to my assistant's aid, Ferdinand. Did, did he not correct her? Did she just now find out? Is she upset that he didn't say something sooner? I'm... What is your name? You're not gonna say. Fuck. <laughs> I hate you. No. <laughs> because it doesn't matter. They're just random NPCs, but I'm confused. Hold on, I'm, I'm looking something important. Is Dr. Blight from Captain Planet? She, she had her hair over her face. Um, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I found I found a picture. Kind of gross looking because it's old '80s cartoons, but but under her, hold on, I'm gonna drop a link. Under under her hair, her eye looked like that, and. And that's what I was afraid would happen if I kept my hair in my eyes too much when I was younger. Because <laughs> my grandma said that my, my vision would get messed up if it stayed in my eyes too long. <laughs> thanks, Grandma. She didn't even know that's what I was thinking of, but thanks, Grandma. Unintentionally traumatizing me a teeny tiny bit. My grandma wouldn't even know who the fuck I was talking about if I mentioned Captain Planet. Okay, um... Am I, like, above them? You see under the sledge? I gotta go down. Where? Further down? No. Oh, over there. Okay, whichever brother you are, hello.
thank you, adventure. For a moment there, I feared my bones were to be ground up and used to bake bread. Yeah, you know, ogres, like in Shrek. I am relieved to see that you are unharmed. It was wrong of me to press such a dangerous task upon you. M my lady, your worries are wasted on me. Twas nothing at all, I assure you. Ahem, if it please you... Why is it just please, not pleases you? If it please you, I shall report on my findings. As you can see, though the tip of the fragment is exposed, the rest is encased in rock and crystal, rendering it impossible to enter the, enter the structure. We might try excavating the area around the fragment, but that is like to take time, and there really is no telling how deep we may need to dig before we find a suitable point of ingress. As such, I am forced to conclude that gaining entry to this fragment is unrealistic. Forgive me, my lady. Confound it. We are losing precious time. What do we do now? Tis I, Urianje. Glad tidings have I found for thee and my lady. For a blessing, a way hath been found by which thou mayest enter the remaining fragments of Delamund. Pray escort Mistress Alphana to the Cerulean Processing Plant in Northern Theranaland. There all shall be made clear. They have a teleporter? Why can't Urianje just call her? Yeah, he found a way. Then we must go to him at once. Okay, bye. I guess the entire name mix-up thing is just not going to be touched on anymore. That's fucking fine. I don't know why I got on my chocobo. Anyway, I feel like I forgot to ask. How's everyone's Monday going? How was your last day of February? Faring for you all. <sighs> Mine again has been stressful because I had to go to the dentist. I'll elaborate on that while I'm I'm flying about. Oh wait, where am I going? He's in here. Um, I had to go in today. I mentioned this yesterday. I had to go in to get two fillings redone. I got them done sometime last year. And I guess the dentist I had wasn't very good. She's no longer currently my dentist because she doesn't work at the dentist office I go to anymore instead of it's in, it's a different dentist office because she was supposed to have done a filling on the one tooth I ended up getting pulled late last year um well when I went in for a cleaning at the beginning of the month they're like oh we they took x-rays and they're like oh it looks like they didn't get all the decay behind these fillings or at least this one filling so we're gonna have to go in and redo them so I, I went in today to get them redone. And then they told me, by the way, the decay is pretty close to the nerve. So once we clear out the filling and go in there to, to get rid of the decay, if the nerve's exposed, you might have, you're going to have to get a root canal. So it's like every time I go into the dentist, it's just bad news. So I'm already not happy that I have to go back because they fucked it up. I didn't get charged for the, the redos on the fillings, of course. But it's like, I'm, I'm already mad that I have to go get them redone in the first place. And then they're just dropping it on me. Oh, by the way, you might need a root canal and a crown. And I'm like, what the fuck, even? It, it was just the mess. The dentist, the current dentist said that he would waive, like, certain fees. Oh, what did I just click? Oh. Would waive certain fees because of the fuck up. Um, if it did have to go to root canal... He said the nerve was slightly, like, exposed when he cleared away the decay, but he put something in there to help stabilize the tooth. So the next couple of days, I have to keep an eye on it to see if that area is sensitive. And of course, if it's sensitive, that means I have to go in for a fucking root canal. And I'm just really annoyed because it seems like this last dentist I had fucked up two of the fillings. One where I had to get a tooth removed, and the other one where I'm going to maybe have to get a root canal. And I'm just kind of annoyed and upset right this fucking second. Sure, I'm not, like, the, the most on top of, like, my dental care, but it's like I've been trying the last couple of years to fix it, and every time I go in there, something else goes wrong. Something that's you, sometimes out of my control, and it's just... It's so stressful. Um... That's why they numbed me up so much, is they gave me, like, two shots to numb me to, to go in and redo the fillings just to make sure in case the nerve was exposed, I didn't feel anything. But I'm starting to get feeling back, finally, by the way. 
but it's just a fucking headache. Hi, Urianje. Sorry. My apologies for summoning you thus from afar, my lady, but tis here that my, your journey may finally begin. I did wonder, to my knowledge, there are no fragments in northern Thanalan. Yeah, but we kept teleporting back out here. Nor are you mistaken, my lady, yet a pathway doth exist, one which you yourself have made use of in the past. At the conclusion of your several forays into the binding coil, twas at the crystal formation which lieth to the north of this place that you did emerge, was it not? Yes, an ethereal stream bore us back to the surface. That much I had surmised. Are you suggesting that we can use it to return underground? And even if that were possible, would it not simply bear us back to those places which we have already explored? It need not, my lady. Pray allow me to explain. Upon the evidence of your experience, it seemeth plain that two internment hulks may share the same ethereal egress. From this we did infer that others may be connected in likewise. Thus we did labor long to verify the existence of further tributaries to the self-same stream, in which task we were at length successful. Twas then but a matter of arriving at a solution to the problem of traveling to an unattuned destination. That one might reach what we may call the headwater, we propose to employ a modified etherite which serveth to amplify such ripples as do originate from said source. By focusing one's essence upon these ripples, it should be possible to make the journey. Yet be fairly warned, my lady, as with all untried modes of ethereal travel, this method entaileth considerable danger. Merely to attempt the voyage could cost you your life. I've already done this once. You're going to make me do it first, right? That is a risk I am willing to take. You are brilliant, Urianje. Urianje. But I am curious, did you have assistance in forming this plan? I could not help noticing your repeated, your repeated use of the word we, unless you have taken to using the majestic plural in our absence. Ah, uh, ha Nay, my lady, as you have correctly surmised, I was not alone in this endeavor. Meaning there are others who are aware of our mission. Did he just shake his head no? Well, it cannot be helped now. Preventing Bahamut's return is what, re is what matters. If some secrecy must be sacrificed to achieve our goal, then so be it. Yay for experimental etheric travel. Those... That, that never goes terribly. I like how they didn't tell me where the fuck they were going, but okay, that's fine. I have a map. Oh, look at that. They installed a little a little Ethernet thing to the rock. That's cute. So that must be the modified Etherite. But what are the immortal flames doing here? Those men may be sworn flames of Ulda, but they are first and foremost faithful retainers of House Levier. Oh, hi, Elfanod. Alphana, so it was you who was helping Urianje. Who else could have been, dear sister? Lest you worry, I have no intention of making the details of your venture public. Like you, I'd prefer to avoid causing a panic. But given that which is at stake, namely the survival of the realm, one must be willing to accept help, help when it is offered. Would you not agree? At the very least, do not be cross with Urianje. Twas at my behest that he kept silent. Hm. We shall speak later. Pray forgive me, my lady, but knowing full well your intent, I judged it meet that Master Alphanod be informed. Oh, sure, he gets to tell him. That your grandsire hath become Bahamut's thrall, his noble blood courseth yet through both your veins, and if he must needs be struck down. Do you hear that, Alphanod? I mean to strike down Grandfather, and when I have done so, I shall banish Bam Bahamut to the ether. Say what you will to sway me from my course. I will protect Eorzea, and I will uphold Grandfather's legacy. Why are they still fighting? Grandfather's legacy. So you still do not know what you yourself desire. Your actions are still driven by borrowed resolve. Borrowed resolve? What does that have to do with anything? Protecting Eorzea is Grandfather's goal, and we made it ours. Both of us. That is why we came here. Unless you have forgotten. Gods forbid I should ever forget. 
not me, but you must understand. I do not question your resolve, only whence it came. If it were your own, you would be able to tell me precisely why you desire so fervently to protect Eorzea. Yet you cannot. It is not your resolve, but grandfather's. You may struggle to see the difference, but borrowed resolve shall never be as strong as that, as that which springs from within. But let us speak of this another time, for now preventing Bahamut's return is all that matters. To be plain, I have no objection to stri striking down whether whatever is left of Grandfather. Know, however, that I will be accompanying you this time. As a son of House Levier, it would, I would be present for his final moments. Da, da, da. Very well, you may join us on one condition. I make the decisions. These two must be fun at parties. If it please, my lady, the names Erkenrad. Our preparations are just about complete. Oh, I saw you back in the, the town. When you are ready to embark on your mission, just give me the word. I'll be waiting for you at the Cerulean Processing Plant. Why can't we do it here? The thing's here. Pay no heed to my brother. You can rely on me. We have come far together, you and I, and together we shall see our journey to its end. I've, I've been hanging out with your brother much longer, though, but okay. Of course, I don't pay much heed to him, either. In fact, I'm, a I'm still actually surprised I'm allowed to do anything. Normally, I'm being told to ask Minfilia if I have permission to go do jack shit. Because apparently, she's now my mom. Hi. I've been waiting for you, Master Eldon. I am pleased to say that the Aether is primed and ready. As you know, the remaining internment hulks are connected to the fragments in Easter Thanalan and Mordona. It is the former that will be sending you to will be sending you to first. You first too. Well, I don't remember what she said, whatever. Now you'll be starting inside the Hulk, meaning you won't have to cover so much ground. The drawback being that you'll be fighting for your life from the moment you get you get there. Best be prepared for anything for my lady's sake, if not your own. And that's about all I can tell you. When your preparations are in order, just give me the word. I'll send you on your way. I may even throw in a prayer for your speedy return, just to be on the safe side. Thank you? Alright. Monday was somewhat awful, but everything is right now. Why? Because we have, we have the, the, the two siblings here. Okay. The final coil. Alrighty, sorry about that. I have them unlocked now. Do I need to find anyone else for the party for this? Oop, that is not the button I meant to press. I meant to press this button. Okay, these turns are actually easier to solo than the second coil, so we're good to go. Okay. Cool. I will start the, start the first turn, then... Smiley. Okay, totally going to pull up a guide. Do I need a guide for this? Final coil of Bahamut. Of course, I just said it was easy to... <laughs> you don't need a guide. I have a guide. Her name is Misty. <laughs> she does all the work. So this is how it looks on the inside. I, s I, I guess our experimental way of travel wasn't that bad. This internment hulk still functions. The teleportation was a success. We are come to the right place. I hope it was a success. If it wasn't, I don't know how we're talking. There's no telling how much far further Bahamut has regenerated since we last beheld him. I know it's been like 30 minutes, but whatever. Let us make haste to the main bridge and deactivate the coil. Okie dokie. I think watching how fast he regenerates in this sequence when you're just doing it in one go is kind of funny. These were receptacles similar to those in the previous Hulk. 
Those held chimerical beasts, but only the Alligans know what their other abominations may be sleeping within. Oh, so they're they're like um they're like the experimentations using um the 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 um the live stream. What is it called? What is it called? The the, the Mako reactors from Final Fantasy Seven. Don't look in one of them. You might go crazy and burn down a whole fucking town after you go sit in the library for too fucking long. They may be well. They may well be part of Dalman's internal defenses. We must stay on our guard at all times. Okie dokie. Ah oh, fuck! There's a glitch in my game. They copied the same model. Are you guys seeing this? How dare they? I'm going to be utterly useless. Can I at least kill one thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, pathetic. Yeah, that's totally what happens in, in Final Fantasy VII. You see a monster, you go spend too much time in the library, you go a little crazy, and you burn the town down. End of the day, you should just maybe not go into libraries. Th this is the only argument I'll be for anti-library, is you, you might go suffer off and burn down a town. Are they just keeping dragons in here? This dragon also knows how to accessorize. I don't think it's really a dragon, I'm just gonna call it that, but it, it also knows how to accessorize. Um, oh, but see, where did where did she go? Oh. No, oh, look at my tiny bits of damage I'm doing. I'm helping! Oh, there's ads. Is that it for the ads? It looks like he's taking damage, so I'm going to say yes. Libraries are fun and the town might deserve it. I mean, true. I mean, of course, if you went to a library and you found all these weird books about how you were basically a Petri disc baby, I think that would probably cause you to, to, to lose a screw or two and burn down a town. To be fair. Um. Because. Because. <laughs> I don't know if justifiable genocide is a good term to use, Brian, but sure, all right. By the twelve, dragons, and so many. And I'm sure they're all great at accessorizing, too. We were aware that the Alligans possessed the means to control the creatures, but to imprison them thus is barbaric. I would not wish, wish such a fate upon my worst enemy. It is plain that no love was lost between the Alligans and the Dragons, but was it truly necessary to keep so great a number here? Delamon did not want for defenses. This we have experienced firsthand. Such guardians as the Alligans created, both living and unliving, were surely no less capable of repel repelling intruders than these poor creatures. Tell me something, not me. Have you not managed to determine by whose will Bahamut exists? I didn't even think about that. No, I have not. At first I assumed that Bahamut had no people of his own, that the Alligans had perhaps discovered a way to simulate prayer itself. However, Nail's words gave me cause to reconsider, specifically the Shade's mention of Bahamut's beloved children. The dragons? Do, do dragons worship the giant dragon? From what I from that I have inferred that the primal is given form by the will of worshippers whom we have yet to You're looking at the 
Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> God strike me down for a blind fool. How dare I think dragons would worship the dragon? Bahamut's beloved children, right here before my very eyes. How could I be so stupid? I don't know. Who else but the dragons of Eld would summon Bahamut? Who else but they could sustain him? And to think I wondered why the Alligans kept them imprisoned here. Wait, did Alphanod also not put this together? Even should the flame of Bahamut's life go out, his faithful children would summon him back. For this reason, the Elegant Empire kept an army of dragons here in a perpetual state of duress, that they might sustain the primal's existence. Truly, the Elegant's inge ingenuity knew no bounds, and neither did their cruelty. Small wonder that Bahamut was so enraged. Let no one deny that it was man who sowed the seeds of the calamity. Will you now turn your hatred towards our own kind, dear sister? Do not patronize me, Elphinod. I merely acknowledge our guilt. Lest you be in any doubt, I have no intention of allowing Bahamut to lay the world to waste, regardless of the atrocities the Elegans committed against this kind. You have no choice but to eliminate all who worship him, be they his children or his thralls. Blow up the room! It seems reasonable to assume that the system responsible for the primal's regeneration is also responsible for sustaining the captive dragons. If we disable it, all should perish. Let us press on. Or we could just blow up the room. You need like a face palm or an eye rub <laughs> emote. Maybe I do. I understand writing, but sometimes the writing just hurts my my head. Guys, and you know dragons wor worship dragons? <laughs> of course, I guess you might assume that dragons are too vain to worship anything but themselves. But when it's a giant fucking dragon and you're a baby dragon, you probably worship the giant one. Just a tiny bit. No, I didn't figure out who the fuck would worship the giant dragon. Except all these dragons maybe in this room. Who would have thunk it? Dragons worshipping dragons. Perish the thought. Oh boy. These jump pads are just worrisome. Where is that one attack that I can do? It's it's scathe. It's not gonna do enough damage to do anything, but I can at least pretend it does something. This is scary. I don't know why I'm trying. Do I just stand on one of these two? See, this is bad though. That the the numbness of my cheek is starting to wear off because. I'm starting to feel the tooth again that I got work on. So my my dentist said to give it a few days to see if it stabilizes. But right now I'm just worried because I know if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to go in for a root canal and everything. What am I supposed wait, what am I supposed to do here? Oh. I Yeah, now I'm like now I'm like heavily aware of them. 
Where am I supposed to go? Do I just wait? Well, while we're doing this, we can look around this room. Oh, over there. I'm just amazed. How, how do all these things connect? This is inside those giant fragments? Like, I'm just confused about how space works. In, in terms of these areas. A tiny bit, anyway. Oh. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks cool. I just don't understand how... The structure and space of it is supposed to actually function. Hey, look, um... Oh my god! It's a blue eyes... Um... Ultimate drag? Oh, fuck. Center of... What's... What's the... What's the... The merge three eyes... The... The... The, 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 the merge blue eyes called? I don't fucking remember anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna stay over here. Pretend I'm helping. Do oh, do I have to worry about as is the problem? Probably shouldn't. I'm gonna pretend I'm helping. What am I targeting? Oh, I'm out of mana. MP. Hey, why are my spells not working? Uh, because you're out of magic, dingus! I don't want to die. I thought I got potions on me. It's okay. That thing's design almost looks sort of like... Yeah, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. The three-headed one. Oh. I mean, I, I guess I don't need the potions on my hotbar. I thought I had some more that should have replenished it, but it didn't. Okay, let's see what other... Spectacular revelations the twins come to on their journey. If it's the three headed version of the blue eyes, then yes. Why, this looks like a model of Delamund, yes. For millennia, Bahamut must have gazed at this unchanging view. Trapped inside a prison that was scarcely large enough to contain him, unable to move, denied the release of death. How his hatred for man must have burned. And that hatred found an ideal vessel in Nail Van Darnus. In many ways, Bahamut is to be pitied, not loathed, but knowing the true extent of his fury, I am more convinced than ever of the necessity of our endeavor. Besides, his is not the only soul that cries out for vengeance. Mm. Mm. Little lady's getting a bit of an edge over here. Which I guess is to be expected. This is some deep stuff. Hold on. Oh, I have a high potion. I'm gonna put those on. Mega potion. I'm gonna pretend they're gonna do something. Three. I'm not even gonna ask. What? Huh? Oh.
Oh, how original. Someone has Otaku as their, their free company tag. Well, while they do that... Oh, I didn't give my Cloud Strife outfit back to my retainer. Oopsie. Level 90 minor could be a <laughs> Oh, I can't open that anymore. I open this one. Are any of those things I picked up even, again, usable to me? Oops. No! It doesn't look like it. Of course, this is not looking into, uh... Looking into actual stats, but I'm just going to assume no. So I just have a bunch of shit in my armory chest that's now taking up space. <clears throat> Maybe if I full ironworks are good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot to say something in chat. Normally I do. It's just the last few... I, I forget that I they were waiting for me to... He's almost whole again. Oh, shit. They said I'll have to read. Oh, I had to click. What the fuck are these things on its shoulder? I didn't have those before. Those look silly. His size is staggering. I can scarce imagine how grandfather stood against such a monstrosity this cannot be allowed to proceed any further let us disable the coil and move on no see i keep forgetting i'm sitting here watching cutscenes and they're not so they're they're just going off to do silly stuff while i'm i'm sitting here paying attention to the the mystery twins doing mysteries Yeah, we gotta beat up on grandpa. Or their grandpa. It's not my grandpa. That'd be weird. Tis the rightness of our path that led us to return. Eorzea will never be safe whilst Bahamut remains to threaten all we hold dear. What of the hero who gave his life in defense of the realm? Do you truly dispute the justice of our cause? My poor, ignorant grandchildren. Your world. Was in the twilight of the third astral era. The southern land of Merosidia suffered invasion at the hands of the Alagon Empire. With no atrocity, too depraved for their purpose, the forces of Alec were unstoppable in their advance. Can I just say Louis Swa's tattoo placement just seems really uncomfortable and weird. I don't know, a forehead tattoo is a bit yes. strange. Dragons prayed to one of their first brood, to their ancestor Bahamut. Infused by the power of their fervent supplications, Bahamut, who rose from the abyss of death and took wing as the Merosidian's newborn god. Yet this great miracle would only serve to further the maniacal designs of the dragon's imperial conqueror. The cruel fetters which bind my lord stand testament to the Alagon's boundless greed and hubris. I once summoned the Twelve in an attempt to forestall the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. What then did the dragons of Merosidia do that I did not? 
Wherefore are they accursed, and am I exalted? Tis man's overweening belief in his own primacy that blinds him to the commonness of his condition and the truth of his own tyranny. Yeah, human's bad. We do stupid shit. I think you except you could another ring, I think. Oh, maybe we'll check later. Stop it! Grandfather would never say such things. His belief that people were worth saving never falter. The earrings I haven't changed because I have the ones that give boosted um, experience from from the expansion pre-order. Oh, okay, they're just book holders. I've only seen her actually use hers. I don't think I've ever seen Elfinod pull his out. There may well be truth in your judgment of Alize and me. But such no way he said it! Tirade, bemoaning the evils of man rings false, coming from the lips of Archon Louisois. The Alize? <laughs> I have to break that down. <laughs> Because Bahamut compels you as his thrall? Or is it because you yourself have transcended the limits of man's existence? I'm sorry, what? Ah, so the possibility did not escape your notice. What I prayed for, what I have become, these are the keys that unlock the truth. Is Grandpa gonna turn into a dragon now too? If you would have them, then you must needs take them by force. Come, rend this divine form asunder and claim your answers. Your beard's clipping through your collar, and that's taken away from the the, the severity of the scene. But okay, the gravity of the situation is ruined by your beard clipping. Oh, Grandpa's turned into a. Dragon Phoenix. Phoenix Dragon. That's pretty cool looking though. I guess it's more Phoenix than Dragon. Is that what they're gonna look like when they finally get out of, you know, their their weird puberty stage? Why can't you help? I thought you said you were willing to strike him down. He's a giant bird now. Just roast him. Moogle. Oh, 
it literally says Phoenix, so it's just Phoenix. Okay. And a wall. Not sure what to make of that. Oh, there's. Oh, it's dead. Never mind. Also, for those playing along at home, this is where you can crank the music. Well. Am I supposed to be attacking this? I'm always afraid to attack first when I don't know what I'm doing, because sometimes that's just a bad idea. Oh, look at my pitiful damage. I did 239, they're doing about 8,000 to 10 grand. You know. See, that's the thing I feel a little bit bad about about doing these fights is I'm not in them long enough to appreciate the music. That's when you go online and you find them. Oh, that's a nice, like, little ending. Your character looks down and... in kind of a, a sad... thoughtful way. Picking up more shit I don't need. That he live as a phoenix? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, he's back. I am yet here, Alice. My dear, sweet granddaughter. Die! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> grandfather? Can you guys stop praying your grandpa back to life? I'm pretty sure you're causing this. Oh yeah, I totally did Without something. Thor, Valda, I might never have broken free of Bahamut's control. Yeah, you're welcome. These last few moments are mine to live as the man I once was. Your beard's still clipping though. This is all that I have wanted. Yet now that it has happened, I find myself struggling to believe it. Is it really you? To be fair. That's not too... F I, I wouldn't be surprised if you're struggling to believe it. He was just a, a fucking ethereal phoenix a second ago. I'd be pretty taken aback too if my grandpa turned into a phoenix. And I had to beat him up. Most people don't have to deal with that. Usually. Father, pray forgive me my insolence. It was not my intent to demean you. Forgive you? <laughs> I am proud of you, child. You were wise enough to deduce the manner of creature I had become. Alfino, Alize, if any here should beg forgiveness, it is I. Grandfather, I must ask. Will you not tell us what you found during the calamity? Oh, do we have time for that? Yes. Yes, of course. Oh. You have come far to hear the truth. What coil is this? Is this only the third? Or what turn is this? This is only the third? There's a fourth, right? Yeah, turn three. Oh, he has a tattoo down there, too. That seems like a weird place to get one. At the Battle of Cartano, where clashed the forces of the Garlean Empire and the Eorzean Alliance. Oh, yay! Flashback time with Grandpa! It was there in the sky above the surging armies that the elder primal Bahamut broke free of the Red Moon Dunham. In an effort to contain upon the twelve to aid me in the creation of a prison of ether. But 
Bahamut would not be caged by such feeble bars. Too vast was his might, too fierce his prey. Little choice remained to me. I used the last of my strength to entrust our hope unto the future and prepared to meet my end. How did I close this window after I've opened it? Is that it? No, we're actually going into flashback. Okay. Right click. Oh, these are the fancy rendered ones. Right click. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, his beard's not clipping anymore because his hair is actually <laughs> rendered separately. Boy, this still looks really good. Oh, crap, it turned into a missile. I'm sorry, I know this is serious. But he just shot up into the sky. That was pretty badass, really. Is Grappa holding up the fireball? He fucking is! Oh, it looks so good! I'm not shaking my head because this is bad. I'm shaking my head and out of awe. How old is... How old is the Realm Reborn again? Oh! I can't imagine what the, the newer cutscenes look like because these ones still look so damn good. Damn it! <laughs> so I have a rant to go on once we're out of cutscene. I know noticed, we're back with in-game stuff, but it still looks I good. But... 2013? Okay. From the essences of the Twelve was destroyed. The sky was filled with a colossal cloud of ether. Oh, oops, I gotta click. This drifting energy responded to the prayers of those fighting below and to my own desperate wish. That the dying realm be saved by infusing me with the power of a primal. I became the immortal phoenix, ancient symbol of rebirth. Rising into the sky, I struck Bahamut with all my newfound strength. The blow shattered his earthly form and a shower of ether rained down upon the land. Thus began the rejuvenation of Eorzea. Believing the deed done, I relinquished my hold on that staggering energy, desirous that it should be returned to the realm without delay. But I had not reckoned on Bahamut's tenacious will. Even as he teetered upon the cusp of oblivion, the dragon reached out to claim me. Alas, within my fast fading form, enough remained of the phoenix's energy to offer Bahamut a hold, 
and he dragged me along in his way. Oh, that's unfortunate. And thus began your existence as the Elder Primal's thrall. I cannot help but wonder at his will to survive. Though he was all but obliterated, Bahamut found a way to seize the power you surrendered. That would explain why part of his physical form survived to be entombed underground. It would also explain why Eorzea was so terribly warped. Even as the land sought to restore itself, the returning flow of ether was cut off. Ah, very good. When his grip on existence was once again secured, Bahamut did not cease his feast until he had consumed every last mote of ether that yet floated in the air. And still he was not fully restored. No, he's a big fucking dragon. You must remember that by this time, much of the freed ether had already returned to the land. That which remained was not sufficient to reconstruct so massive a form in its entirety. Exactly what I said. He's a big fucking dragon. I'm gonna need a lot for that thing. But there did not need to be. Not for a being sustained by the marvels of Alagon technology. As long as some piece of Bahamut persists, the coils will seek it out and continue their regenerative task. Well, fuck. The Have we done anything? Dalamut appear motionless from the surface, but deep beneath the ground, they had been searching, tunneling through rock and soil towards their escaped prisoner. And, as you have observed for yourselves, they found his heart. Warrior of Light, heed me. You must put a stop to Bahamut's regeneration. What does he think we've been doing for the last couple of hours? Be for man or for dragon kind. The question of justice is irrelevant. The Elder Primal will leave naught but a smoldering wasteland for both his children and ours. I beg you to defend Eorzea and guide its people to the future they yet struggle to find. I shouldn't tease him about his beard clipping through his collar. My moogle's clipping through my hat. It has been. For quite a while. Wasn't there two fragments though? We're only in the one, right? This portal will take you to the final ah, terminal. There we go. It is time for the tale of Bahamut and his part in the calamity to come to an end. Alvino, Alize, pray, come closer. It's more like Alize with a Z instead of an S. <laughs> Your hopes and dreams must no longer be an extension of mine. You must needs find your own reason to fight for this realm, your own meaning in this sea of chaos. Will you do that for me? Aww. Of course, Grandfather. I have already made it my mission to see this newborn Eorzea survive and flourish. Alize, while I was yet enthralled to Bahamut, you spoke of my faith in man's strength. Know that your words reached me prison though my soul still was so forceful was your conviction i wonder if that belief has not become your own perhaps after all your anger and sorrow was spent you found something greater within you it's 
See this fight to its culmination. Tis also your strength in which I have faith. Yeah, okay, I still haven't really done anything these whole coils, but you guys keep saying that. God, stop it with the single fucking tear! They please give your grandkids a hug or a pat on the head. Anything. If they did it, I was gonna get angry. Light's blessings ever keep and protect you. Okay, I guess it's kind of almost a hug is close enough to a hug. That's all we're gonna get here. Could he have at least told his twin grandchildren to dress differently? Uh-huh. I'm sorry, is this glowing thing here supposed to be like the model of her tear that didn't deload? Is that what that was? I'm gonna pretend that's what it was because that's just funny to me. Oh, wait. What? No, I don't want that. Okay, last turn on we're going over again, god damn it. Okay, well while I'm waiting, my rant is I I know I know World of Warcraft came out in the early two thousands, so I'm not gonna pick on the Yeah, you know why Louis Swan is the best grandpa in his origin. He's a pretty cool grandpa. He's a phoenix. Badass. Um, I, I know World of Warcraft came out in the early 2000s, and we can't judge 2013 graphics by 2004 graphics. But one of the things that appalled me when I was playing the most recent expansion for WoW before I dipped, is some of the cutscenes just look so fucking bad. Like, they they were just like overly animated. Some of them, when it was like kind of like backstory stuff, was like motion graphics things, which is fine. But it's just like some of them, like it still looks nice, the, the current year stuff. But nothing... Nothing... <laughs> I feel like in, in all the years that they've been running World of Warcraft, the cutscene quality didn't get a, as better as you think it might in, in the years it's been running or something. And what I'm getting at is that at least in Final Fantasy cutscenes, they look good after even a, a, a short bit of time. Like, they, they hold up remarkably well. Some of the, If I went back and looked at the old ones for World of Warcraft, I'd probably want to punch something. Actually, thinking about it, I'd still want to punch it. Uh-oh, it heard you. Uh-oh, it's awake. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Well, he's still half a dragon. I guess when you have arms and wings, you don't need legs necessarily. Uh, Alize. Alize. 
Okay, I, I know this is serious, but I like how their clothes both ripped in the same exact way. <laughs> That's magical. Raphael is a really cool guy. He punched a hole through Bama and isn't afraid of anything. Yeah, you die three seconds after. Good job. Well, they will also attempt to punch through a dragon for you. Do better. In fact, I believe I already have. Punch through the dragon. That reason has been with me all along. Guiding me. Eorzea's blade of light shearing through endless shrouds of darkness. I have been shown the miraculous... That was a weird delivery. ...of which we are all capable. Of which I am capable. Punching through a dragon. Sorry, the the bar is pretty high. <laughs> your old man punched through a dragon. I will not let your wrathful fires consume all that we know and love. Oh, second time she took out the book. Look at her. See, I am proud of her. She's at least done something. Oh, look at that. It was like the father-son Kamehameha. Why did I say it like that? That's a really tall book. I have waited to hear you say that. You have found your resolve at last. Hey, why are these yellow? Those used to be blue. Weren't they? They weren't yellow. Those health indicators? I don't know what color they're supposed to be. Let me join my strength to yours. It could just be the lighting. I'm just gonna assume it's the lighting. Those are silly looking books. But I'm so glad you're actually using it. This is the first time this whole fucking game. <clears throat> I don't know how they're holding those up with their hands. I guess it's magic. Unless they just have really, really good finger dexterity. Oh, did they know their books could do that? I don't think they did. For the future of Eorzea. This last task is yours, warrior of night. You must destroy Bahamut's crystal core. Okay. They're not talking to me, they're literally talking to Misty. I'm not gonna be able to do much. I'm just organizing the event. No, don't float me like I'm important, please. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, we're just gonna go inside of it and destroy it? Okay. That seems like a good place to go. Oh, it just has those weird shoulder patty things. Okay. Hey, look, it's an actual dragon and not a wyvern. Sorry, I might have a, a slight fucking nitpick when people call... When, when people call obvious wyverns dragons. There's a distinction for a reason. I'm helping. Did I just die? I just almost died. 
<laughs> okay, why am I using that high potion? That did nothing. I'm just gonna. S I wasn't. Nope. Okay. Well, she probably doesn't. No, that thing died in one hit. But we can listen to the music and watch the fight. I'll just zoom out. There we go. <laughs> This is a good song, though. <laughs> This arena isn't as, uh, interesting. Of course, the floor is fun. I kind of like the floor. Oh, there he is. Oh, look! The dragon with the cool necklace is back. Can you get the camera under the floor? No. Nope, trying really hard. Okay. is Misty playing. I'm not good at recognizing the symbols is part of the problem I have. I'm helping, guys. I feel really bad about this, really. Look, all these dragons are so good at accessorizing. They're like, they're like little bracelets. Tail bracelets. I don't know what you'd call those. Cuffs? Tail cuffs, maybe? Is this kind of like a timed thing with how... I, I guess it's... With how fast the... The waves spawn in, huh? They actually want you to hear this whole song. Ooh. Ooh. It goes with the music, doesn't it? Because you get the giant... Terra Flare here with the, the music. <laughs> He's gonna pose. <laughs> I feel really bad. I'm literally just down for this whole thing. <laughs> you can't Phoenix down yourself. Can you? Oh, never mind, doesn't matter. down yourself can you that doesn't make sense you're you're dead there are no party members oh no my party members all went away guys we did it we totally killed the dragon the main point of doing this is just to 
to wrap up stuff. Well, to get some more backstory with the, the Calamity and the twins, though. You did it. They get closure. That's nice. Closure is always a good thing to get. I, I thought we destroyed part of that. Did I really do it? But one task remains. Oh. No, we haven't done it yet. We had to like what subdue him before we turn off this last thing. Once this wraps up, by the way, we will be ending. Um With this last coil disabled, there shall be naught left to bind Bahamut to this world. His beloved children will finally know peace. I'm so glad that just turning that off requires you just to hold your hand out in front of it. Don't need to put in passwords or anything, just... You just will it to turn off, I suppose. They didn't put a lot of- I mean, I guess there's other security measures in place, but you think they put at least that or something on there? Because it would suck if someone battled all the way down here just to try and turn off the weird computer thingy for there to be a password that they don't have. Passwords like kittycat73 or something like that. Or dragons are cool 96. 1234567 Yay, we did it. Hey, speaking of kitty cats, look who came up here for the end of stream. Where were you? You didn't help us kill the dragon, kitty. Wanna watch cutscene? Huh? Wanna touch key? No, you wanna sleep behind the keyboard, don't you? Yes, you do. That's what you wanna do. Well, that's pretty. Oh look, it's more of her tears that didn't despawn. Sorry. I'm trying to get the cursor off. Oh. But what about the dragons? Are they dead? You knew, didn't you? You knew what grandfather had become. I was not certain. But from all I had gleaned, it seemed a distinct possibility. The scene people describe of the Battle of Cartano was one of unimaginable devastation, and tis through the combined prayers of the desperate and an abundant source of ether that primals are born. I merely put two and two together. Yeah, sure. Where are there? Consider that a sufficient explanation. Yes, yes, he does. Where are there? parents by the way were they just raised by their grandfather i i think i've missed this plot point where are their parents are they gonna go home and tell their mom and dad hey by the way grandpa turned into a phoenix well however you stumbled across your theory was this revelation that made you wary of my attachment to grandfather you feared that in my obsession i would fall under his primal sway is that why you decided to join us to pull me back should i show signs of wavering oh possibly Pray forgive me, is that a question you want an answer to or just report rhetorical yet I see now that I needn't have doubted the strength of your conviction will I find the answer elsewhere and is it spoilery if there is an answer to it if it's not rhetorical may I ask you a question what do you now intend to do with the truth you have uncovered I'm gonna write a book called my grandpa's a phoenix and see if anyone believes me You'll eventually learn the answer as part of a main story. Okay. Well, we'll just let it go on the main story quest. What particular truth was that, brother? The fact that desperate prayer gave rise to the primal phoenix? That this new god was responsible for setting Eorzea on the path to rebirth? Should such a tale become common knowledge, people would soon offer up their prayers in earnest. They would beseech phoenix to complete the healing that was begun. Yet as you and I know all too well, 
The very act of calling forth this savior would do more harm to the land than good. We cannot encourage such worship for this very reason. Her grandfather forced to return as an ether draining primal would undo all that he had worked to protect. It's kind of hard if you're a phoenix that's a sign of rebirth, but you coming back into existence sucks out the the ether that helps with the the restoration. Yeah, that's a that's a weird position to take. Your abiding love for him was the key that unlocked the truth of the calamity. I don't think it's supremely spoilery to mention who their parents are or were, but either way, at this point, I wouldn't tell you what, how they affect the. Okay, well, wait. Oh, you're mean. You're mean. These may also serve to seal doors that were best left unopened. Let your love now guide your actions, and lock away deep inside the fate of both grandfather and Bahamut. Baha blast. Don't touch that. That's just Mountain Dew. God, I could go for some Taco Bell tacos right now. Fear not, Alfino. I understand what must be done. I'm pretty sure the Taco Bell around here closes early, though. The realm need not know the truth for it to be saved. That the Elder Primal is banished to return no more. That is enough. Hopefully, yeah. No dragons know no no living dragons know of Bahamut. Let us make our way back to the surface. Poor Orionje must be beside himself with worry. I'm sure he's fine, he goes through this a lot. With you guys, Minfilia. Hooray! Okay, I guess we'll finish up the actual quest real quick. Uh, and here we are yet again. After that descent into darkness, the desolation of Northern Thanaland seems paradisical. Dicical? Whatever. As promised, I shan't reveal the truth of the calamity to a single soul. However, the nations of Eorzea will require certain assurances that the threat of a new primal is gone. Keep in the dark over long, tis only a matter of time before they seek answers of their own accord. Let us recommend that the fragments of Dalamunda are sealed off that the truth may yet rest undisturbed. But first we must go and report to Urianje. It would not do to keep him in suspense. I dare say we shall find him pacing up and down at the Cerulean Processing Plant. Okie dokie. Bye. Actually wrap this up and then we'll wrap the stream. Ah, the warrior of light returneth, undimmed from the depths of darkness. By thy triumphant bearing, I take it thou hast succeeded in thy mission. And yet thou art alone. Mistake me not, dear friend. Full glad am I of thy safe return. But where, pray, are Master Alphanod and Mistress Alice? They're having a moment. Oh, they're right there. I flew over on my chocobo. I'm sorry, they look a little... Is he going to yell at me that they're all scuffed up? Here, my friend, forgive us our lateness. We took the scenic route. Bahuma, Bahama is no more. The realm is safe. I like how their face also have the same, you know, blast marks. By the heavens, look at you. It wasn't my fault. They went up against a dragon. They weren't cool enough to punch him. Whatever horrors your young eyes must have seen. What suffering your young bodies must have borne. Pray tell me, were you hurt? Your wounds must needs be cleansed and dressed at once. I shall make for you a poultice which draweth out... Be at ease, my friend. We are hail and whole. Hail and whole, I assure you. We took a few tumbles, but the worst of our hurts are healed. I believe we have grandfather to thank for that. Master Louis Suave, and you met with him once more. But wherefore should Bahamut's thrall seek to ease your suffering? I promise to reveal all to you in due course, dear friend. But first, there is a matter which requires our immediate attention. Now that Bahamut is defeated, we deem it best to bar entry to all the fragments of Dalamund. To this end, we will convince the nation's leaders that the danger is past and invite their cooperation in ensuring that the fragments are never again disturbed. Come, let us depart and seek an audience for, with them forthwith. A moment, sister. You need not burden yourself with this task. 
Uriange and I will more than suffice. You might, might you not take this opportunity to rest? The gods know, know you have earned it. And then we're not going to see her for another bazillion years, are we? But I am fine, brother. Besides, you have been through as much as I have. Oh, I see now. You would play your game of diplomacy and wish me out of the way. No, I not could be further from the truth, Alizé. My lady, tis mine's earnest belief that your brother have your best interests at heart. You have more than done your part, and his desireth but to relieve you of a burden he might easily bear alone. I have some experience treating with dignitaries, you must allow, and as you have never failed to remind me of my and as you never fail to remind me of my fondness for diplomacy, I feel it only right that I remind you of your aversion to it. Then it is settled. Uriange, play, pray make arrangements for a chocobo carriage. The ride should give us ample time to prepare our story. Alphanod. I'm not saying it right ever. I'm just going to say it right now. And again and again and again. I'm never going to say it right. Though our paths are different, we share the same goal, do we not? But of course, dear sister, that which we have just achieved together stands as a testament to that fact. Whatever path we choose to take, our hearts shall ever lead us to the same end. Of that I am certain. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. There's a place that I would visit. Might I ask you to accompany me? What? Why? But first, I do believe a change of garments is in order. It won't take a moment. Okie dokie. I hope your brother changes before he goes and talks to anyone. Oh, cool. They teleport me to the place. I don't have to go there on my own. Great. Oh, she did actually change. The landscape is the same. Of course, there is no reason that it would be otherwise. Though it would be poetic for the fragments to magically disappear, I am well aware that they shall remain long after you and I are gone. The world may change irrevocably, but life shall ever go on. Cat <laughs> fur in my nose. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Yeah. Sure. I'm just gonna die a little bit. My cat's actually in my lap, but this chair is not big enough for me to cross my legs properly for him to really lay up here. If I get a new chair, I need to get one that's a bit bigger to accommodate being able to sit up here with my cat. I have no doubt that Alphanod would do an admirable job concealing the truth of the Calamity. And such truths as were revealed in those dark depths will never see the light of day. I myself agreed that it must be so. But you're still talking about it. But the thought that the people of Eorzea shall forever remain ignorant of their savior, of your deeds, the injustice of it is almost too much for me to bear. Oh, this isn't new. Don't worry about it. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> How typical of you, Ferdinand. Ever the hero. Even so, I cannot deny that I feel better for your reassurance. I didn't do anything. So, whatever. But I want you to know that I will never forget. You are the one who freed Grandfather's soul and saved Eorzea from Bahamut's wrath. 
And though these great deeds will never be remembered in song, their consequences will be felt forevermore by every soul, every soul who calls this realm home. Oh, good boy. You're too big of a boy, though. You don't fit in my lap very well. Where did her book go? Where's she supposed to keep it on that outfit? Yes, this spot will do. Her grandfather nail and the dragons of um, Maracita. Maracita. Ah, they said it and I didn't write it down. I thought I would remember. For all of those who are taken by the calamity. Only one flower? You couldn't get more than one day? Oh, I guess you don't want it to be obvious why it's the... Oh, it's gonna blow away anyway. You know, there's like a bazillion dragons in that room. And a bazillion people that died, but okay. At long last, our struggle with Bahamut is over. Bahamut. I don't know why I can't say that right ever either. I'm not doing that one on purpose. The realm given new life through the prayers and sacrifices of countless souls may look a bit may look to a brighter tomorrow. When the dust of our adventure has settled, I shall embark on a journey. I mean to find my own reason to fight for Eorzea. I thought you already said you did. Then when I do, I will fight with all my being. You have done so much for me, Ferdinand. One day I hope to be able to repay you in kind. I have no doubt that you will continue to help those in need and grow even stronger in doing in so doing. I shall endeavor to do the same, and if the twelve are kind, I hope one day to become Eorzea's sword in the darkness, as you are. Cool, so we're not going to see here for another bazillion years? Come what may, you may rest assured that it will not be outdone by Alphanod. But next we meet, I promise I will not disappoint you. Till that day, fare you well, my friend, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Papa, be nice to my arm, please. What did I just say? That doesn't mean bite it, you dingus. Okay, bye. See you in a another bazillion years. Yay. Did it. Okay, so that should be everything from... Why does it say Nia B gently pats me? When When were they near me? Oh, that's creepy. Did they pat me when I was in cutscene? Oh. He's over here. <laughs> it's okay. That's kind of creepy. Not fond of that. Anyway, um... So that should be it for the coils. I'm going to teleport back to Mordona. Even though I'm probably going to wander off to Gold Saucer the next time I boot up. People do that. It's much worse for Lala's. Uh, I imagine so. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna, Papa, stop. Stop. Papa. Hey. Stop. He's licking my arm in one spot. He's gonna, like, lick it raw or something, I swear. Hello? I said stop. Stop. That hurts. I know you're trying to help, but it hurts. You should check if you can buy it. Oh, okay. We'll check that real quick. Uh, ah, Papa! Asshole! Call it out! Just lie there and be cute! That's all you have to do! Yeah! Knock it off! Um... 
But we're gonna end it here so we can just continue with the story quest next week. Gloom is a weather effect? Uh, I, I guess. Yeah, sure. I went the wrong way. No. Yes, I have to go up the hill. Yeah, I have... Well... Uh, this one. I don't have the earrings. Do I just want to get another one of the same rings? Because... There. About the same. It's just one has spell speed, the other one doesn't. And I have a materia slotted on it. it no, that's the wrong bar. Direct hits better than spell speed. Okay. Papa! Ow! Papa! Ow! Knock, Papa. Which one did I get? It was this one. Papa! No! Stop! Stop it! You're a butthole! He bites my arm, then when I tell him to stop, he licks it like he didn't just bite my arm. Anyway, okay. Uh, oh, that shouldn't do for now. Anyway, we're gonna end here so we can just continue with story stuff because that should be unlocked. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, so we can. The only thing that we're gonna get stuck on is the the tower shit. Uh, because I think we're in the last quest line for a realm reborn right before we get into Heaven's Ward. Be nice to get out of fucking around reward. No, don't chew on my hoodie string. Let go. Let go. Get that out of your mouth. That's not yours. No. It's not yours, Papa. Anyway. I don't want to sit down. Um. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll continue with the story next time until they Oh, we'll do it later. I must say, I had those crystals to turn in, but we'll we'll do that later. Um, next week we'll we'll just get the story moving on. Anyway, it's been way too long. We we've gone way super over. Um, I guess I kind of expected that. I didn't know how long these were gonna take. So, okay, you're at the start of two point. Yeah. My foot's falling asleep. This is a good. So, yeah. For the tower, will I be able to just party finder that stuff too? Like, is, is that of any note? 25 more quests? Ooh, okay. That sounds like a lot, but it depends on what they're having me do. I don't know if you can see. Look at me, my cat. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Doesn't fit up here very well though. Um he's trying trying to bite my arm. If I put it over near the mouse, he's going to try it. No, Papa. Papa, why is the corner of your mouth like that? What were you chewing on? It was on my arm. Um anyway, I'm getting distracted by the cat. He's gonna have to get down because my legs are falling asleep. You're going to have to get down, big boy. My legs are falling asleep. Sorry. Down on the floor you go. There you go. Um, but yeah, so we'll we'll continue with that next week. Um, so we can eventually 
get into the Heaven's Ward, uh, and whatever that entails, it'll be nice to kind of move forward, though I know we're a long ways off from... Sorry, I just noticed how much cat hair is up here, and I'm looking for one of those, uh, lint rollers. Um, but I know we're, like, a bazillion years off from... From current... <laughs> current content we'll get there one day i don't know i'm having fun just kind of taking my time through the story and actually paying attention to the story if you look at my oh oops if you look at just like the hours i i have played in this game that's a lot of hours to have played to have not gotten anywhere i feel in the story um so that's annoying <laughs> Just a little bit annoying. I'm, I'm sure that's like a, a drop in the bucket for most people, but considering that I've never gotten out of a Realm Reborn storyline, I think that's a little much. But I did start over three times because I did. Uh, and that's the point of these streams, so I make some goddamn progress. Uh, but uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's any new announcements, not since last night. Um, Wednesday and Thursday this week, we will be doing two nights of, of Pokemon, uh, the, the Pokemon Legends. Pokemon, the Pokemon Legends. That's backwards. I don't know why I'm trying to show it to you guys. Um, and then Friday, we're back with Celeste. Uh, so, and then next week, we'll be starting the Pokemon Nuzlocke. Or, I had the case over here. I don't know where it went over there um but yeah we'll be starting the nuzlocke for for shining pearl why is pokemon snap in this case that's not where it belongs uh but yeah so that's that's pretty much it there's there's not a lot really changing at the moment uh so yeah um i think that's it Thanks guys for tuning in. Sorry it was kind of a mess, but at least we got through the, the binding coils. We got to, to get a bit of closure on that. Um, and not that they'll always see it, but random people from people, uh, Party Finder, thanks for, thanks for the help. Sorry I didn't do anything. Uh, but until next time, uh, I hope you guys take care, keep warm, all that fun stuff. The weather's been kind of okay lately, but you know, if you live in Michigan, it being okay for one day doesn't mean much. Um, so until next time, take care, everybody. I will talk to you then. Okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye.